Welcome into WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Belmont Cardinal football. It's a season opener for the 2017 season. The Cardinals and the Smithville Seminoles. Eric McDowell's down on the sideline with Coach Jason Coker. Coach, uh, of course, ready for the season. The boys are followed her back. I know you just got done meeting with the refs. Are you ready for the football? Oh, yes, sir. It's a beautiful night for Friday Night Lights. What about, uh, I seen one injured. How many injuries do we have starting off the game tonight? Uh, three. Uh, James Murphy, Lane George, and uh, Ben Lofton. Which uh, played Smithville here last year, had a good effort in the season opener, and uh, we look forward to that tonight. Is there any other thing that uh, you're, you're looking forward to as far as this group this year? Well, just to see, what, you know, what their hard work, their efforts, you know, and see them pay off, you know. Well, coach, we appreciate it. I know you got to go, but thank you for taking time with us. Coach Jason Coker, the head coach of the Belmont Cardinals, as we get ready for Belmont and Smithfall. Well, it's that time again for Belmont Cardinal football. The Smithville Seminoles have rolled into town here at Earl Alexander Field, the campus of Belmont High School. Steve Bates, Eric McDowell, Josh Mitchell. We've got Jack Ivey with us tonight. Ivey, man, uh, it's that time for Friday Night Fever again. And getting kicked off here and the 18th day of August. And I tell you what, it's just an honor to be down here tonight with uh, you and the McDowell man and the Mitchell man. And I tell you what, uh, nothing better than the first game of the night. But, uh, you know, it's always fun on the technical end, too, because you're uh, setting up equipment for the first time of the year. And, of course, you go through those little growing pains. But once you get past them, there's nothing like a good Friday night of football, right? Well, it's good to have you on our broadcast tonight. We know you're usually covering those Red Bay Tigers, but they're not going to start their season the next Friday night over at Cobbard Heights. So good to have you with us on the Cardinal broadcast here tonight. Well, I am glad to be here. And uh, I may chime in every now and then, but I know you and the McDowell man's got it underway. I understand you're under an air conditioner up there, Eric uh, Bates yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's, you know, it's August 18th. You know how it is in the south. It's hot and humid. No doubt about it. I don't know what the humidity is uh, down on the field, but uh, uh, probably what upper 80s right now still. Temperature uh, right now is at 90 degrees here at 630, 640. So appreciate the kind of storage. They're making their game possible tonight. Only climate control storage in the area. Haskell Sparks is your owner in Belmont and Tisha Mango, 423-8767. Belmont Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Moss. He is your hometown chiropractic specialist serving Belmont and the surrounding area since 1998. Dr. Moss is located in downtown Belmont next door to the historic Belmont Hotel. Stones Jewelry, family owned and operated for 41 years. Locations in Ripley and Tupelo. Our specialty is engagement rings and making the customer happy. Jewelry pairs are done in the store. When you think of jewelry, think of the Stones. Joanne and Teresa wishing the Cardinals the best of luck here tonight. Buster Davis and the staff at Davis Ford in Fulton. They are Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer. They've been with us for over 50 years serving this area. Call them at 662-862-3711. Good luck to the Cardinals tonight from Randy Sparks over at Silver Dollar Sales. Four Street Grill and Steakhouse for Lori and Brent Collum. On the Golden Road in Red Bay, you will find good food every day at reasonable prices at Four Street, 356 22 26. Let Harold Lumenac, or State Farm agent, take care of all your insurance needs. Harold's located across from the post office in Iuka at 101 North Wilmoth. You can call Harold at 423-1231. He has been your reliable State Farm agent for 37 years. Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Also Silver Dollar Grocery, Rick Sparks, your owner in Golden, Mantachi, and Tupelo. They're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., where you'll find the lowest prices around on discount groceries. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Missy and Dustin Brandon at 305 2nd Street. Don't forget now if you're planning a wedding in the future, go by and see them at Wildflowers. They can make your wedding dreams come true at any budget. Give them a call at 454-1033. Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks. They do residential and commercial installation, service and repairs, free estimates on new installation. They're state certified, licensed, bunded and insured. 662-279-6569. Also, Maddie Jewel's Boutique and Consignment at 102 Main Street in downtown Belmont. Go buy Maddie Jewel's and see them for your name brand selection of men's, women, and children's clothes and shoes, jewelry, home decor, spirit jerseys, all at super low prices. Anna Gaddis is your owner of Maddie Jewel's Boutique and Consignment in Belmont. 
Also, Denson Ready on TV, your Whirlpool Maytag and LG dealer. If you need a washer, dryer, stove, refrigerator, deep freeze, maybe air conditioner, LG TV, they have it for you, Denson Ready on TV. See John, Greg, Jamie, give them a call at 454-3433. Jack Ivey, those uh, cheerleaders ready to go. I got that spirit line lined up. Yeah, we're about uh, six minutes away from kickoff, and the cheerleaders, they're doing a little pregame uh, pep for the players before they come out. And I'm going to walk over and get a quick word with Miss Adrian Lynch. And Miss Adrian, uh, tonight, first night of football, but the uh, first night to show off this 2017-18 uh, edition of your cheerleaders. We're really excited. I'm excited about the football team. Um, I'm also excited to show the talent of my cheerleading squad. They've worked really hard all summer, and I'm just really excited to show what they've got. Um, you'll notice that we also have a guy out here filming. We're working on a Powerade grant. Um, we're trying to get a grant to put some weights in our weight room. So uh, if you're wondering what we're doing, that's what we're doing. So I hope that... Uh, our video will go good, and if you get a chance to uh, support our weight room, we'd appreciate it. Sounds good. How many new additions, uh, freshmen, do you have on this year? I have five freshmen this year. Uh, two of them cheered last year, but I also have a new sophomore. Um, so I only had one senior, so it kind of some of them come back. Some I had some that didn't return. Uh, uh, you know, it's a... I still feel like we have a really strong team this year, and so I look for great things out of them this year. Looking forward to hearing them cheer tonight, and I'm sure before the night's over, we'll get a chance to say hi to them. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, Steve. Tonight is the Belmont Cardinals season opener for the season here at Earl Alexander Field. Smithville Seminoles. Jack Smithville went deep in the playoffs last year before losing, so they lost quite a few seniors. I think maybe they lost their quarterback as well, but... Uh, they're going to still be a good, talented football team here tonight. I want to remind everybody that uh, if you've listened to our sponsor list tonight, uh, we've, of course, we've had some of these sponsors since the day we started doing Belmont football, but we've added some new ones this year, and we're honored to have the ones that's been with us for many, many years, and also thankful for some new additions on our sponsor list, and it's not too late to get on, so if you're listening tonight and you'd like to be a part of our broadcast, uh, just give us a call, and we'll get you fixed up for next week's game, and we'll just prorate it out for you, so we won't let you miss anything about being a sponsor, and I'll, I know Eric knows uh, about how important it is to have these sponsors help make the game possible. There's several people working tonight uh, on our staff. we got a crew over in Corinth tonight. We'll have a crew, of course, here. We'll have a crew next week uh, in three different locations, and, of course, uh, Denisa back at the control center uh, holding the fort down there. So it uh, takes a lot of people involved to make it happen, and uh, I'm just uh, proud of everybody that's a part of Ivy Broadcasting that brings these sports on Friday night. And once again, a special thanks to all of our sponsors making the game possible tonight. Eric McDowell down on the sideline. Eric uh, was talking about Smithville losing quite a few, but the running back for Smithville, Dustin Moffitt, he's back again this year. And you know from last year, if he gets into the secondary, he's big trouble. He is, uh, Steve. And you know, we consider him a running back, and he is, but he's listed as wide receiver. And I noticed last year he had 917 all-purpose yards and nine touchdowns, but 428 of those yards was receiving yards. So, yeah, you got to have your hand on Moffitt uh, at all times, and uh, all eyes on the field has got to make sure that they don't let him get away for sure. On the Cardinals side of the football, Eric, uh I thought in the Jamboree game, you know, that first drive, they carried it down to about the two-yard line, then it started raining. Of course, it was a fumble, and McNary Central came up with the ball. But I thought a good drive for the Cardinals in that Jamboree game. What do you think the key tonight for these Cardinals is to come out of here with a W? We haven't had a season opening win since 2012. What's the Cardinals got to do here tonight? Well, I believe, uh, just like we talked about earlier, I believe, you know, keeping, keeping Moffitt uh, in your sights at all times, but at the same time, just play our game. We've got to be physical. We've got to stay on our blocks. But, uh, you know, defense is going to watch win us the game tonight. And uh, I, believe, I believe we've got a really good shot at uh, getting on them early, but we did last year. And they talked about it uh, on WTVA as far as finishing games. We talked about it last year. Uh, I believe there's only one game that we wasn't leading at halftime last year. So just finishing these games each year. And hopefully, I know Parker's put on some weight, and uh, they talked about that. Uh, Sparks has put on some weight, and I believe 
I believe that's going to be the key to every game, but especially early when it's hot and it's humid, I believe that's going to be the key. Eric, I got you a question. Who's going to fill the shoes of Mr. Reeves that's over at Northeast? You know, he was all over the field last year. Who's going to be called on to try to take up the slack for him? Those are very big shoes to fill. I'm going to really miss watching Peyton on both sides of the football this year, but uh, I believe Parker Bolton is going to do a good job, but I really honestly believe you can't fill his shoes by himself. I believe Will Farr and Parker together will be a really good running back tandem. I do, and I honestly think we're going to throw the ball a little bit more this year, and I think the fans are going to like to see that. Of course, uh, Smithville's got a new head uh, football coach, Eric. Uh, he's uh, coached at Tupelo, I think, at New Hope as well. I think Jack Ivey may be going to get a try to get a word with him after they come onto the field here in a little while. But uh, they got a new head coach for Smithville. Yeah, he's he was at New Hope for several years as an assistant. Uh, Michael Campbell is their new coach this year. And, uh, you know, um, I know they look for big things from him, but at the same time, we're talking about filling the shoes of, uh, of Peyton uh, here at Belmont. Uh, they're going to have to fill some big shoes as Chad Collins left Smithville last year with a 32-9 and nine record in three seasons. That's going to be hard to top, but uh, I know uh, at Smithville it's a tradition, so they're going to be looking and expecting that. Appreciate Daniel Sparks, former Belmont Cardinal, making her game possible here this evening. Wants to wish the Cardinals a great season. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative. Sparks Drive-In in Belmont, they've been in business for over 35 years. You find a great breakfast each morning, lunch buffet daily Monday through Friday and on Sundays at the Sparks Drive-In. Insurance services of Dennis, see Anita Trotter, Deborah Farr, they are your hometown agents, whether it be your home, life, health, auto, Medicare supplements, and much more. They have access to all your insurance needs and insurance services in Dennis. Give them a call at 454-0054. Now a moment of silence and our national anthem coming up. Great job of the Belmont Cardinal Marching Band, our national anthem here this evening. Spirit Line is formed and ready to go. And Eric McDowell will go out to midfield, get the instructions from the referees before tonight's ball game coming up for you in just a moment. Man Oil Change, making our game possible. Thanks to Daniel Mann and Man Oil Change in Golden for supporting your Belmont Cardinals. Oil changes, tire rotation, they fix flats and some minor repairs. It's Man Oil Change in Golden at the railroad crossing. They appreciate your business. Give them a call at 
3557. Bates, the captains for the Smithville Seminoles, they're walking right toward me, heading out on the field. And I know the Belmont Cardinals are coming down the other side over there, but uh, led here by a big guy, number 34, that's Chet Moffitt. Y'all have talked about him. Also big number 75, Colvin Leach. And the big man out of the group, uh, he's 6'4", 375 pounds. Uh, you'll be able to see him when he walks across Bates. He is uh, number 77, Dax Payne, 6'4", 375. Skyler Maxwell for the Belmont Cardinals, one of your captains tonight. Number five, Jared Rodriguez. Number 15, Kirk Sparks. And number 26, Will Farr. That's your captains, and they're headed to midfield. And we'll go down to Eric McDowell, and we'll get the instructions for tonight's ball game. Belmont has won the toss and elected to receive, Steve. So the Cardinals got to get the touch the football here first this evening against the Smithville Seminoles. Triple D's bucket service, Barney, Brandon, Dustin, Dick. They'll try their best to meet all your high reach needs, whether trimming or removing a tree, debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning a steeple. It's all done in a professional manner. They're licensed, bunted, and insured, 662-269-7500. Bates, man, I've got the head coach for the Smithville Seminoles, and uh, coach, uh, first game of the season. These two tangled to a close uh, Seminole win last year. What are you bringing to the Belmont tonight? Man, I'm bringing a young team that is excited. They're hungry to play. They're ready to play. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to coach. This is probably my first one as a head coach. So we're excited. We're ready to see what we got. We got some we got some pretty good guys here. And uh, what kind of offense do you bring to Smithville? Uh, we, we bring a downhill running, uh, running uh, scheme. Uh, we're going to try to hit you in the mouth. You know, Smithville, if you look traditionally over the years, they've probably been some of the best passing teams in the history of high school football around. You know that. And, uh, I don't guess you'll get totally away from the passing game. I'm sure you can still throw the ball, right? Oh, yeah, we throw the ball a little bit. We'll we'll throw it in there a little bit. <laughs> Appreciate you, Coach. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Bates Mann, I believe uh, he said he's going to run that ball, but we mean you know they're going to throw the ball a bunch, too. What do you think about Belmont taking the football right off the bat? I like that. What about uh, y'all? Yeah, I like it. Set the tone early, hopefully, right here for the Belmont Cardinals. Will Farr, the deep man. Trey Williams over here on the left side. 18 for the Cardinals. Rhett Martin over there on the right side. Appreciate Gatlin's Pharmacy making her game possible. If you priced your prescriptions at another store, go by Gatlin's Pharmacy. See if they can save you some money on your prescriptions. Stanley Page, your pharmacist. They are your Health Mart Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 438-6605. Greg Collier, 5th District Supervisor, making her game possible, making progress one day at a time. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent for your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, and tax-deferred annuities. Give Mike a call at 454-9624. Jacob Johnson, a senior for the Smithville Ball Club, tees it up at the 40. And high school football action for 2017. And this season is underway. Little short kick, goes to the middle of the field. Comes to the right side, look, gets a block. Across the 30, 35, ended. We got a flag and a good return for the Belmont Cardinals, number 25 on the return. That's Parker Bolton. Well, yeah, good job. Way to uh, change direction of the field, pick up some extra yards there by Parker Bolton. 
Got a holding penalty against Belmont. Bates man, the guy with the white hat, didn't wait long before he threw the flag for the Cardinals on the return. And uh, I got to ask Eric a question. Are we going to play action it on the first or are we going to run the football? Well, I'm ready, Mr. Jack. You, are you saying play action or run? I got, you got to commit to me. Do what? Are you, are we going to throw it or run it on the first play? Oh, we're going to run it first. We're going to run it, okay. First and 10, Cardinals from the 20, split backfield. Kirk Sparks under center. Kirk takes the snap. There's the handoff off the left side. A good hole up to about the 28, 29-yard line. Parker Bolton on the carry for the Cardinals. Good positive yards. That's the main thing after us having that penalty, a holding penalty. Get off to the right, uh, right play there. I told Mr. Ivey we'd run it this time. What are we going to do? What, what about second down, Jack? Uh, I think we're going to stay with running the ball, too. That was Jabril Smith uh, making the tackle there. He's 5'7", 155-pound sophomore. And, uh, Eric, uh, you didn't have to go too far out on the limb with that running play, but uh, that was some nice positive yards on play number one. Sure was. Second and two, they'll hand it off again. Big hole, 40, up to 45, and finally brought down close to midfield, just inside Smithville territory. And a good carry that time for the Cardinals and number 26, Will Farr. Good run by Will Farr right there, and that's what we talked about. We can't, we can't replace uh, Peyton with one guy, but I guarantee you Will and Parker can do it together, and that was a great run by Will Farr. Ken Nelson at Nelson Metals. They buy your cans, aluminum, steel, copper, old cars. Your gold jewelry, 454-7500. First and 10 at the Smithville 49. Sparks under center, brings a man in motion. Sparks takes the snap. He'll hand it off, a little quick hitter. And a first down for Parker Bolton and the Cardinals down to the 36. Good run again there by Parker Bolton. Nothing fancy, just straight up the gut. and Another first down for the Cardinals. Todd Kelly there to make the stop. One of the guys on the Smithville side. And guys are off to a great start. Center Family Medical Clinic, Dr. Steve Center and the staff, 454-7170 from the 36, first and 10, Belmont Sparks takes the snap. Play off the right side to the 34-yard line as Will Farr carries the ball there. Still a nice pickup there by Will. Uh, just a little different formation, I like that, kind of giving Smith or something else to think about. Second and eight after the pickup of a couple for the Cardinals. B.J. Moody, your sales rep at Jones Motor Company, Savannah, Tennessee. They feature Nissan, Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, and Jeep. Have a large selection of new and used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Give B.J. a call. Here's the play off the left side, close to the 30-yard line. Parker Bolton off the left side. Another good run there by Parker. Tackled by number 58, Lane Williams for Smithville. At the 31, third and five now for the Cardinals. It's telling you by B.J. Moody, your sales rep at Jones Motor Company in Savannah, Tennessee. They feature the best in maintenance and repairs from finance to parts and service at Jones Motor Company. See B.J. Moody. Steve, on my roster, and I know Eric's hadn't, we hadn't got any sizes or weights on there, but uh, I'd like to know a little bit of that information. we got some pretty nice, uh, good-looking size guys up on the line. We got a little movement on third and five and a flag on the play. Or not, they never did throw a flag. They didn't throw a flag. Smith will recover the fumble. We just left mm. it laying there on the ground, guys. I don't know what. I have they no words to express that. Well, I was looking for a flag because there was movement before the ball ever. I don't know about that one. Nevertheless, Smithville's got the ball first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Yeah, there was some confusion there, and uh, I think uh, Belmont for sure thought there was a flag with a movement, so the center just backed up from the ball, and it was left laying there, and uh, uh, the Smithville folks, coaches over here are saying, get on the ball, and they did, and now Smithville's got it first down and 10. Seminoles first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Quarter work back will work it out of the shotgun on first down. That's going to be Moffitt off the left side. Moffitt to about the 38-yard line. Good hit by Jared Rodriguez uh, for Belmont and Nathan Randolph. 
MTS, formerly Mississippi Two Supply Safety Apparel, high visibility vests, t-shirts, safety glasses, earplugs made and sold right here in Belmont. Custom signs and decals, banners, been in business for over 40 years. Call them at 1-800-647-8168. Second and two, Moffitt takes it, gonna keep it again right up the middle. Moffitt straight ahead across the 45, maybe the 46. Hit by number five, Jared Rodriguez again, and also number 68. Skyler Max will in on the tackle. Skyler's helmet came off. He's going to have to check out of the game. First and 10 now for Smithville. At the 46-yard line, they'll split three receivers over here to the left, one to the right. They'll work it out of the gun. There's the snap. They'll hand it off. And a good stop by Parker Bolton. Jared Rodriguez, uh, I'm sorry, Jared Rodriguez. Hunter Borkstrom knocked his feet out from under him too as well there. Good job there by the Cardinal. That was Chad Leach on the carry for the Smithville Seminoles. Second and eight now for Smithville. Running Pat Deaton at the Belmont Hotel bringing you tonight's game. On second and eight, man goes in motion, Moffitt, he sets now. Here's the snap, here's a little screen over there to Moffitt. Good job by the Cardinals. Good Cardinal job, defense. Jared Rodriguez in there on the tackle for the Cardinals. He read it the whole way. Good job by number five, Jared Rodriguez. Boy, you calling his name out a lot tonight. Yes, he's ready to play this year. He is ready to play. No question, that was a really, really good, good play. Third and 13 now for Smithville. Wardlow will work it out of the gun. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. One man in the backfield. There's the snap. Wardlow looking to pass. Here comes the pressure. Pass coming. Got a man wide open. Woo! Incomplete. He had him over through it. Yeah, we had, we had a busted coverage right there, but unfortunately he missed him. But uh, we forced a punt. That's the main thing. Pass intended for Will McNeese, and it's fourth down for Smithville. Donald Ray Thomas, your Constable for the south end of Tishomingo County bringing you tonight's game. Also, m and Sales, Tammy and Eric and James McDowell, Highway 25 South Belmont have a great selection of furniture, living room suits, bedroom furniture, dinettes, mattresses at great prices. Give them a call, 454-9443, and the Cardinals, I believe, jump off sides. More than one, Steve. Yeah. Still going to be fourth down, but, uh, yeah. They got us on that second set. Fourth and eight now at the 48. So they'll retry the punt. Waiting on the snap, good snap back. And the punt on the way. Ball score and Will Farr makes the fair catch. Jade Rodriguez, the guy you've been calling Eric all night. Uh, pretty he close the guy to getting there, there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He was. Uh, Fought through some blocks and still almost got it. Hey, I am super impressed. Of course, he played some last year, but not, you know, very sparingly. But now he he is definitely ready to play. Good looking ball player right there. Steve, before the night's over, you know, the uh, benefit in the Belmont High School Athletic Weight Facility, 30 guns and 30 day raffle. If you're listening here uh, or wherever you list tonight, you need to get one of those tickets for a chance for those drawings. They're going to give away 30 guns. That all starts on what, September 1st, Eric? Yes, sir. Uh, I've got tickets. You can see me or Brandon Farr. You go Sparks Drive-In and Old Country Store and Steve's Gun and Pond. But, yes, we're doing that to raise money for uh, the facilities, the athletic facilities that are building here. And, uh, yes, appreciate you mentioning that, Jack. Uh, definitely need to get involved and help our, help our school out here. Cardinals pick up five on first down to the 29-yard line as Will Farr carries the football for Belmont. And Cardinals now will come to the line of scrimmage. I told them I need you, you selling all them tickets, Jack. You're the best salesman in the world. Not quite cold enough for me to sell. I ain't, I ain't selling Eskimo. That's that. Oh, that's in the summertime, though, right? Was that Will Farr with the ball? Steve? 25, I, I believe it's Parker Bolton no, on the Parker, carry. I couldn't see. The sun was in my eyes there, and I didn't hear you. Big third down for the Cardinals right here. Third and three. We need a first down right here, guys. Ball at the 30-yard line. Parker Bolton, Jared Rodriguez in the backfield. Sparks takes the snap, looking to pass. 
Here comes the pass. Got a man complete at the 40. To the 45, up to the 47 yard line. The pass complete to Brandon Anderson. Brandon done a great job last year. You remember, Steve, he got hurt there. Uh, I believe it was in the Costuth game too, but uh, he really done a good job there and he missed the last few games, but that looks good there seeing Brandon coming across the side there and, and catching that ball. So a heat timeout with 5.47 to go here in the opening period and the Cardinals will have it first down and 10 at their own 48 when play resumes. Steve, we really moved the ball well. You know, uh, honestly, the only thing that stopped us was ourselves so far. So uh, I'm very impressed so far. How about yourself? I think the Cardinals, like you said, have moved the ball. I know we had that play earlier where Smithville got it. We had a good drive going there, and now we've got another good drive going. So hopefully after this heat timeout, we can carry it on down the field. Because sure. don't you think, I mean, we're the underdog, right? I mean, wouldn't you think Smithville was picked to win? I did say on Max Prep, uh, they was ranked five, they was ranked 259 and we was ranked 264. So I guess it could be pretty much a draw, but uh, we, I would think it would be a little bit of them favored since they beat us the last three years or whatever. But uh, I know everybody's ready for an opening, opening season victory tonight here in Cardinal Stadium. Community Spirit Bank Belmont for all your banking needs. Mike Montgomery and the staff, J.P. Wyman, your hometown state senator. Also the Deaton Funeral Homes of Melbourne Red Bay, serving the area since 1945. Deaton Funeral Homes are now in their fourth generation of service. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk. Tiffin Motor Homes featuring Allegro. Also Allen Harden Heating and Cooling. They've been in business 44 years. Your factory authorized York Heating and Cooling dealer. Give them a call 356-8913. Hey, Bates man, I put a post on Facebook and a lot of people have shared it. If you can go look to my Facebook page and listen to it online, we'd ask you to go do that and share it so your friends can listen to the game live. There's the snap on first down. Sparks dumps it off under pressure incomplete. Good job by Kirk, Eric, to get rid of that ball. Yeah, it uh, they was on him before he knew it. Uh, got a flag. And far didn't far didn't see the ball coming until the ball was on top of it. Got a flag over here, guys. Legal shift. So they'll step it off against the Cardinals on the illegal shift penalty. Mac Wallman, your Tishomingo County corner. John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County sheriff for any tonight's game. Don't forget you can get a copy of tonight's ball game. It's available on DVD. Contact Jack or Denise Ivy at 454-9797 to get your copy of tonight's ball game. Kirk Sparks ready to go first and 15 now from the 42. Kirk takes the snap. He'll hand it off to Bolton. Bolton across the 45 to the 46. Good run by Parker right there up the gut there for some positive yards. 58 on the stop that time. Lane Williams for the Seminoles. Yeah, he's been everywhere so far tonight. What about number 77, Dax Payne for the Smithville Seminoles weighing in at 375 pounds? You know, I was beside him when he went out for the coin toss and I thought I was big. <laughs> he's a man, I'm telling you. There's the handoff off the right side to Will Farr. Will, good run for Will down to the 46 yard line. Good, good, strong run there by Will Farr, bringing it across the field there. Lane Williams, one of those Seminoles on the stop, so it's third and four now for Belmont at the 46-yard line. The Old Country Store, we find those 24-hour gas pumps. You can pay at the pump. Great food for breakfast or lunch, 454-7920, the Old Country Store. Will Farr, along with Witt, split out to the left. Sparks takes it on third down, handoff to about the 44-yard line. It's going to be fourth and short for the Cardinals, fourth and maybe a couple to go. Not much room. He was right there on top of Mr. 77, Dax Payne, and number 75, Coleman Leach there for the Smithville Seminoles. It's fourth and two. Eric, well, you about got to go for it right here. You got to go for it. I mean, well, actually, we have actually slowed our pace right here after that uh, uh, Heat timeout, so uh, yeah, we, we've got to stop shooting our stuff in the foot right here. We've got to have this first down. Brandison Anderson will check out of the game. Rhett Martin's going to split out to the left. Got Jared Rodriguez over here on the right side. There's the snap. Will Farr weaving his way. Good hard running by Will. Gets us a first down. Good spot over here, and it's a first down there. Great job by Will. He actually didn't get the first down until he hit that second effort. Well, that's all I want to right there, and we needed that. Good job, Will Farr. 
inspirations for women. Tammy McDowell, Highway 25 South in Belmont, bringing you tonight's game. All kinds of monogram items, specialty shirts, raincoats, purses, baby gifts, kids' clothes, lots of gift items. Call 454 9443 or 454 So on first down from the 41, man in motion. Looking to pass, here comes the pressure, pass on the way, and that one almost picked off by Dustin Moffitt. Second and 10 now for Belmont. They like to come up with that intersection on the second effort there. Yeah, I stand right in front of him, man. I thought he had it, but I'm glad he dropped it. So on second and 10, Kirk takes the snap, hands it off. Big hole for Parker Bolton. He's got a first down and more. Parker turns it on. He's going to be drugged down. It's going to be first and goal for the Cardinals. Great job by Parker hitting that hole and accelerating. We got a first and goal, Cardinals. Tri-State Insurance, Kim Wells, Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser in Belmont and Red Bay for all your insurance needs, whether it be your vehicle, home, motorcycle, four-wheeler, boat, RV, farmer business. They're licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. You can call them at 454-3304 in Belmont. Red Bay number 3564804. So first and go for the Cardinals from the eight. Kurt takes the snap. We got a flag. Flag on the play. Offsides against the missile. Okay, I thought that was going to get us for movement. That's a, that's a break for the Cardinals. So they'll step off the penalty against Smithville. Offsides against the Seminoles. Ball at the four yard line. First and goal for Belmont with three minutes left here in the opening quarter. Mason Thompson will far in the backfield. There's the snap. They'll give it to Thompson. Mason straight ahead. Not a lot of room there for Mason, but, uh, but good effort there for the Cardinals. Had number 77, Dax Payne, right there on top of him, and number 34, that'd be Chet Moffitt uh, on the stop for the Seminoles. I said Mason. That may have been Rodriguez. My, my bad. No, that was, no, you was right. Mason Thompson. He's in the backfield again for the Cardinals. They're going to give it to Will Farr this time. Will down close to the goal line. Will Farr. So third down, we got two tries right here, Eric. Yeah, we got to get it in the end zone right here. Uh, I was sitting here thinking, Steve, this is awful, awful familiar with last year, this game at this exact time with what we've done. Have you thought about that? I hadn't thought about that. Guys, Turned I'm the moving. ball over on the first uh, possession that we had it, and then we got the ball back and came down and scored. So maybe we're going to do it again here tonight. So on third down, now we got a whistle and a flag timeout. Eric Cardinals want to talk it over. Timeout, timeout Seminoles. He first first said. Uh, That's what I thought. I thought it was Seminoles called it. I didn't see the coaches over here. First he said Belmont, then he turned around and switched to the other side. Guys, I got down here close to the goal line. I think uh, between me and Eric, we can push him over the line, Reggie. That's right. I'll get behind. You just make sure you push sideways. All right, sounds good. Southeast Surplus, Edwin Bolden, I would 25 South in Belmont. They are your steel power products headquarters. They have a huge selection. Steel power twos, the lowest price around. They don't just sell it, they service it as well for all your steel products. Go by and see Edwin Bolden and the staff, and we'll call it 454-7484. Willow Lane Wrecker Service, tire store and oil change. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Saturdays, they're open 8 to 2 next to the Belmont Fire Department. Don't forget the Wrecker Service. It's available to you 24-7. You can call them at 454-3002. Med Express Red Bay, formerly known as Keller Family Practice, nurse practitioner Kayla Humphreys, and staff open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, to take care of all your medical needs. Med Express Red Bay is a certified rural health clinic licensed by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Bates, we're only about 12 inches away from the goal line. You think big number five can either take it over or take somebody with him over. Jared Rodriguez 
He's lined up by Bolton. There's a snap. It's going to go to Bolton. He's Touch in there. Down, Touchdown. Cardinals. Parker Bolton. So with 1.29 to go and the opening period, Parker Bolton scores the first points of this 2017 season for the Cardinals. Good job by that front line pushing it forward. Conversion coming up now for the Cardinals. Kurt Sparks under center, brings Rodriguez in motion. There's the snap, looking to pass. Here it comes, got a man over there, incomplete. Is tended for Brandon Anderson and it's six to nothing Belmont with 1.29 to go in the opening period. Hickenbottom's Family Restaurant. Owners Lachey, Jeffrey, and Stella Hickenbottom bring you tonight's game. Their hours are Thursday, 4 to 9, Friday, 4 to 9, Saturdays, 3 to 9, Sundays, they're open at 11 to 1.30. Hickenbottom's Family Restaurant and Dennis invites you to come out and enjoy a meal with them. Let them do the cooking for you at Hickenbottom's. Milligan Ready Mix, 025 North, Brock and Criddle Insurance for all your insurance needs. Call Randy or Ricky Criddle at 454-9800 at Brock and Criddle Insurance. Red Bay Hospital, taking care of her friends and neighbors close to home. Nursing Officer Sherry Jolly, give her a call 356-9532. Get their well care centers well open Monday through Friday, 5 to 9 on Saturdays, 8 to 12. Contact Josh Sward at the Red Bay Hospital. Gavin Crow means at Overdrive Auto Sports bringing you tonight's game. Tire, oil chains, accessories, lift kits, and more. Good luck to the Cardinals from Gavin Crow means. You can give him a call at 662-660-4505. And the kick on the way. Good kick. That one's going to go into the end zone. It's going to be first and 10 for Smithville at the 20. Good kick, uh, touchback there for the Cardinals, starting off this season here. Does a great job by that, good good effort here by the Cardinals. Eric, I don't know if you noticed it there at the 45-yard line, uh, Parker Bolton standing there by himself with about three Smithville players. Yeah. Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford pound more now in their fourth four-year business next Community Spirit Bank in Belmont. Don't forget now, they are Tiffin's preferred provider. They accept both Alabama and Mississippi Medicaid at Belmont Pharmacy. Ivy Man, they got that digital kiosk photo maker over there at Belmont Pharmacy. You know, I, I ease in there every now and then. You can print them right off your Facebook page or print them off with just about anything. SD card, the old memory stick, uh, whatever device you got, you can print it right there in the store. And, and if you don't know how, they'll show you. There's the hand ice coming right side. Moffitt upended. And a good stick over there by the Cardinals, Nathan Randolph. Yeah, a good stop by Nathan, forcing him out of bounds. Golden Dreams Jewelry in Belmont next to the post office. All sterling silver and gold chains are half price right now at the Golden Dreams Jewelry. Sterling silver cross earrings or necklace, $29.99. The Scotch sterling silver necklace is 20% off. Carmelian sterling silver as well. See Paulette and the staff. They have the lowest prices around. It's Golden Dreams Jewelry in Belmont. There's Moffitt again. Big hole for Moffitt this time. Breaks away to the 50. Moffitt to the 40. Cardinal's going to try to run him down. 30, 20, 10, 5. And he's going to score a touchdown for Smithville. Yeah, once he got past the line, just like we talked about, he is gone. If you ever get him wrapped up, you got to bring him down because he gets away from you pretty quick. Smithville has tied the ball game with 41 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Jack Ivey, you could probably run that fast back in your younger days, right? Well, he kind of reminded me of myself there for, uh, especially when he broke out in the open field and just took off. You remember that, don't you? Uh, not really. Hey, uh, I'm over here close to the Smithville band. They're sounding good, but I was going to tell you, after the Belmont band played the national anthem to start tonight, I got uh, a few oohs and ahs and said, man, that was great. So the Smithville folks was bragging on the Belmont band on their 
national anthem before the game tonight. Smith will takes the lead after the extra point. Seven to six with 41 seconds to go. That's not the way we wanted to end the first half, so we gotta, we gotta get this ball on this kickoff right now and uh, make us a good drive right here. Kim's hometown Emporium making her game possible. They ship and sell mattresses all over Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. They deliver, finance, and ship guaranteed lowest prices. Don't forget Liberty Security, trained professional security for your business, armed and unarmed guards. Give Mike Kemp a call at 454-9992. Kemp's hometown emporium and Liberty Security. Sunshine Mills, makers of that great dog cat food and treats. Grace Long Real Estate, Iuka, 423-5555. Piggly Wiggly at Belmont, Iuka and Red Bay, down home down the street at your Piggly Wiggly store. Also in Piggly Wiggly, Belmont, you'll find the Belmont Ace Hardware. So Smith will ready to kick it off after the touchdown. No short high kick, going to be fielded at the 30, 35. Across the 40, up to about the 42 yard line. Parker Bolton on the return for the Cardinals. Got a score from over at uh, Alcorn Central, Tish County leading in that game in the first quarter over there, seven to nothing under the new coach uh, Wells over there for the Braves. So we got Blake Long and Randall and Riley Floyd over there tonight. H&R Block, Iuka Red Band Fold and your tax professionals, Napa Auto Parts in Belmont. Go by and see Phil, Terry and Brian for all your parts needs, 454-9754 on first down. There's the handoff to Will Farr. Farr, 45, up to about the 49. Yeah, good run there by Will Farr. A sweep left there, sweep right, I mean. Good pick up there by the Cardinal. Tell you what, number three, Jabril Smith, got him by the ankle, or he would have got several more yards when yeah, he that's exactly right. If he wouldn't have got him, he was going to be for a big gain there for the Cardinal. Brandon Anderson, Jared Rodriguez checks into the game. I like the way they're doing uh, resting our backs here as the first quarter ends, doing a good job of getting the players in and out and keeping them fresh. At the end of the first quarter, Smithville seven and Belmont six. Bates, Eric, Bates one, one quick question for you before you do the sponsors here. Is uh, Coach Kevin Deaton up in the box tonight? Yeah, he's on the other end. Yeah. Oh, okay. I knew that, that uh, he was supposed to be up there. I wonder if he'd stayed with that decision. So offensive coordinator calling the plays from up top tonight. All right, go ahead. Eric, your thoughts on the first half for the Cardinals? Well, I think they done a great job, just 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 like we hoped they would, and uh, good play calling and a good effort from the Cardinals. The only thing, actually, just that one play that has allowed Smithville to have the seven to six lead by not wrapping up Mr. Moffitt. So, if we can continue to do what we're doing and just just wrap up on Moffitt, I think we've got a great chance here tonight. Appreciate Red Bud Supply, Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne making her game possible. Also, Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff in Red Bay, 356-9000, the number at Redmond Pharmacy. Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent in Red Bay, making her game possible. If you're stuck in a state of falling behind, struggling to keep up with your kids, finances, your insurance, and your life, and let the State Farm agent Ronald Thorne in Red Bay help you simplify and get to a better state because with Ronald handling your auto home life and health insurance, You'll have more time to handle everything else, more money too. Because adding state farm policies can earn discounts. You can add up to 40% and actually help you get ahead. Give Ronald Thorne, your state farm insurance agent in Red Bay, a call. Go by and see him on Main Street in Red Bay. Mates, I want to tell anybody if you're out there listening on 97.9 FM, AM 1430, maybe you're on TV 12 or TV 97, maybe you're on the internet at WRMGradio.com. If you'll send me a little text here at the uh, ball game, we'll say hello to you. 662-423-7602, 662-423-7602. We'll give it to you again a little bit. Second and two flags on the play as we yeah, start Yeah, I got movement period. on the Cardinal. That number once again, 662-423-7602. Smithville leading seven to six. We got, of course, Tish County leading over to Alcorn Central seven to nothing. And Speaking of Tish County, Bates Band, they'll be here in a couple of weeks, right? Yep, two weeks from tonight, it'll be the Cardinals and the Braves right here from Belmont. Where are you going next week? 
We've got uh, South Pontotoc at home. We've got three home games. South Pontotoc next week. Tish County comes to Belmont the next week. Then we'll have an off week. We'll go to Morville. That'll be their homecoming down at Morville. There's the handoff to number two, Trey Williams on the carry. Lays the positive pick up there for the Cardinals. Boonville leading it over Morville 14 to nothing in the first quarter. Pysuth leading Independence 7 to nothing. Nettleton leading it over Mantachi 20 to nothing in the first quarter. Once again, that number, if you'd like to send us a little text, it's real easy, 662-423-7602. Let us know you're watching or listening to the game tonight and where you're at. Third and seven. Sparks looking to pass. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to go down. Yeah, he slipped, and then uh, he had two Smithville Seminoles, number 22 and 60, right on top of him. How about that Belmont Cardinal band? Cardinal band sounding good here tonight. Fourth and 13, and the Cardinals will punt it away. 22 will drop back for Morville. That's going to be... Will McNeese, and now we got a whistle, and Belmont calls a timeout. Timeout, Cardinal. Sid's Trading Company, Highway 25 South at Iuka, bring you tonight's game. Now's the time to get that new mower. Prices have never been better, and the selections are great. Bush Hog Zero Turn Mowers are dependable and solid. They're offered in a state commercial and professional series. Go out to Sid's Highway 25 South, Iuka. You can call Mr. Sid at 424 0025 at Sid's Trading Company. Appreciate Ronnie Cook at Modern Woodman bringing you Cardinal football tonight. To plan for your financial future, learn about member benefits, get to know your Modern Woodman representative, give Ronnie Cook a call at 423-8477. For the Cardinals fourth down, they're going to punt it away. Yeah, number 22, Will McNeese was on top of Kirk before he knew what was happening there, but uh, a really a good uh, good time to bring the pressure there by Smithville uh, actually on that third down. Kirk Sparks standing ahead of his 25, waiting on the snap. Good snap back, and the punt on the way off the side of the foot, not a good punt, and it's going to roll out of bounds at about the 48-49 yard line. So Smithville, Eric's going to get good field position, first and 10 yeah. right at midfield. Yeah, unfortunately right there we kicked ourselves in the foot, uh, not picking up the pressure that Smithville brought and then the kick off the side of the foot there. But uh, we just got to remember, number seven, wrap him up. Econo Storage, the only climate control storage in the area. Haskell Sparks, Belmont, and Tisha Mango, 423-8767. So first and 10 for Smithville at the 49. They'll work it out of the shotgun on first down. There's the snap. They'll hand it off right up the middle, down to about the 46-yard line. Host of Cardinals on the tackle. Jared Rodriguez, of course, is in there. Number five, 76. That's Gage Sheridan was in there as well, along with number 50, Lane Young. Chet Moffitt on the carry that time. Chet Moffitt, a senior. At Dustin Moffitt, number seven, a senior as well. Second and five from the 46 of the Cardinals. Ball loose on the ground. They're still getting it. I believe we Cardinal might come ball. up with it. Cardinal ball. Waiting on the official to give us the word. Smith, yeah, we got, got it. it. Cardinal yeah. football. Belmont ball. One official over here was saying third down, and the other guy gave it to the Cardinals. We'll take it. First and 10, Belmont at the Smithville 48 yard line. Smithville leading at 7 to 6 with 10.02 to go here in the first half. Steve, the official over here on the Smithville side held up third down uh, like it still belonged to Smithville, but uh, the other head guy said, hey, it's Belmont football, so we'll see how this argument goes over here. I'm sure 
Josh may have us a good shot of that. I'm not, Josh may not even be able to hear us over there, but I'm sure Josh has got us a shot of it. So they didn't uh, change the mind, and guess what? It's going to be uh, Belmont football. How big was that, guys? That's that huge. huge, and I mean, I didn't know anything they could do. I mean, the ball was at the quarterback's feet, and uh, uh, Sheridan went in and got it. First oh. Sparks ready to go on first down. The 48 of Smithville. There goes Will Farr off the right side. That's some good hard running right there, I'm going to tell you. Good job by Will Farr, number 26, on the carry for the Cardinal. Then he helps the guy that made the finishing tackle and just picked him up. So a good sportsmanship there by the Cardinals. Ball down to the 42 of Smithville. We'll call it second and four now. Belmont Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Moss, your hometown chiropractic specialist. Ready to help you in any way at Belmont Chiropractic, accepting new patients. They've been practicing since 1998. So on second and four, there's the snap. They're going to hand it off. Big hole for Parker Bolton. Bolton to the 30. Bolton cuts it back. Bolton's headed to the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown for the Cardinals. Great job by Parker Bolton, shifting and cutting and taking it to the house. 9-10 well, to go here in the second quarter. Belmont retakes the lead. It's now 12-7 Cardinals. Boy, it's a beautiful run there by Parker Bolton. And uh, tell you what, guys, he is running mighty hard, him and Will Farr in that backfield tonight. Appreciate Stone's Jewelry, family owned and operated for 41 years. Locations are Serbian Ripley and Tupelo. Their specialty is engagement rings and making the customer happy. See Joanne and Teresa. They wish the Cardinals the best of luck, Stone's Jewelry. Jack, you can see it over there. How about this? Good, nice crowd we got over here at Cardinal Stadium on the Belmont side. Well, it's a pack, it's not only a packed house over there, but there's probably enough people standing around the fence for another half. Here we go. That's Sparks right. looking to pass. Here comes the pressure, dumps it off, and it's intercepted. Conversion will be no good. Number 22, Leach, on the pressure for the Seminoles there. He got two Sparks before he really could get it thrown off where he wanted to go with it. Guys, old Jean Thorne checking in us over in Red Bay, Alabama. And old Tawana Griffin, I think she's down about Brandon tonight. Uh, we'd love to say hello to you tonight. And uh, don't forget, uh, if you just happen to join us, we got the band coming up at halftime for you, Belmont Cardinals. Belmont leading you right now 12 7, 9 10 to go. We're live at Earl Alexander Stadium. Jack Ivey and the world famous Eric McDowell down on the field, and the boss man, Steve Bates, up in the booth and out on the ledge out there with that camera, Mr. Josh Mitchell back with us tonight. Ivy, man, good to have Josh back with us. I'm going to brag on him. He, he's good on the camera. Is he making it look good? He's making her look good. Uh, that I didn't doubt that. Did Davis you? Ford in Fulton, Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer. Buster Davis and the staff making Cardinal football possible. They've been in business for over 50 years, serving the area 662-862-3711. Give them a call at Davis Ford. Good luck to the Cardinals from Randy Sparks at Silver Dollar Grocery. Also, Four Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lauren Brent Column on the Golden Road. Good food every day at reasonable prices. Give them a call at 356-2226. Also, for your catering needs as well at Four Street. Kirk Sparks ready to kick it off for the Cardinals. And now we got a whistle. Movement on the Cardinals. Nettleton now leading it over Mantachi, Jack, 27 to nothing. Wow. Steve, I want to remind everybody on Friday nights after the game, now they got to give us time to get back to the studio with a video. After the game's over, uh, it may take us 30, 40 minutes, or might be an hour, depending on where we're at. But they can actually watch the game when they get home and watch it all night up till about 10 o'clock on Saturday. And they can watch it again on Monday night. Then we'll have a game day uh, program at 9 o'clock talking about SEC football. Then at about 10, it's going to come back on and stay on all night on Monday night. So lots of replays of these Cardinal games. And I promise you, by the time you get up in the morning, you can watch this on our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube.com, search Jack Ivey, and it'll be right there. And the kick on the way. 
And he touched that one. It's a live ball. They hop on it. Rhett Martin was down in the vicinity there, but uh, he quickly jumped back on it, talking about the Smithville player. And they were a little nervous. I probably see over on the Smithville side and every right to be as that ball took a little hop there, Eric. Yeah, I seen, uh, all I was looking for was it going right to Moffitt, but thank goodness he, he, he baffled it there, so was not able to get going up on for the Smithville Seminole. I was looking over here, Parker. They're fanning him. I think he got a little bit of hot on that run, but that was back again. That was a great run by Parker Bolton for that last touchdown for the Cardinal. First and 10, Smithville at the 33 yard line. 9.09 to go here in the second quarter. It's a 12 to 7 lead for the Cardinals. They'll work it out of the shotgun. There's a snap. There's a handoff up to about the 40 yard line. Mason Thompson, and Jared Rodriguez. And also number 62, Midrin Brock on the stop for the Cardinals. Smith will lined up and ready to go again. There's the handoff off the left side. He'll have a first down at about the 45-yard line. Brock again there with some help for number 50, Lane Young on the stop for the Cardinals. Smith will, will pick up the first down. They're on 45, man in motion. There's Moffitt. Moffitt, big hole, 40. Stops back, cuts back again. They'll finally hem him up at about the 24-yard line. Number eight there for the Cardinals. That is Nathan Randolph finally got him down. First and 10, Smithville at the Cardinal 23-yard line. Harold Lumenaker, State Farm Insurance, aided at Iuka, bringing you tonight's game. He's been your reliable agent for 37 years for all your insurance needs, auto, home, condo, renter's insurance, life, health, disability, and business. You can call 423-1231. There's the handoff, number 11 on the carry. That's Caleb Leach. Leach down to about the 20-yard line. Jared Rodriguez there. For the stop for the Cardinals with some help from number 58, Alex Romero. Smithville wants a timeout with 7.49 to go here in the second quarter. Belmont 12, Smithville 7. I said 58. That was number 56, Nathan Scott. I'm sorry. Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector, bringing you tonight's game, Silver Dollar Grocery. Locations in Golden, Mantachi, and Tupelo. Rick Sparks, your owner. They're open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 6. Lowest prices around on discount groceries at Silver Dollar. We get the Belmont Cardinal Marching Band. They'll be coming up for you at halftime. We'll have that. We need to stop right here, Steve. Eric, sometime tonight uh, on a timeout, uh, get those cheerleaders down there. We'll let them tell you, let them tell their names. Sure will. Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts in Belmont. Missing Dustin Brandon, 305 Second Street. For planning a wedding in the future, go by and see them. Get have one of a kind of jewelry, silk and live flowers, unique gifts for all occasions. Call them at 454 1033. Smithville ready to go on the second and seven play. There's the handoff. Big hole off the right side. He's headed to the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown. Caleb Leach with a touchdown. I don't think Smithville. he was touched. Thirteen to twelve, Smithville. Now the conversion coming up for the Seminoles. Number twenty-two, Will McNeese will kick the extra point for Smithville. Forty-four, Tucker Hood will spot the ball. Snap back, Hood puts it down, McNeese, and it's blocked by the Cardinals. Cardinals get it and. Score will remain 13 to 12, Smithville. Yeah. 
guys, I know we we haven't even attempted an extra point. We just, I guess, give up on doing extra points and going for two every time. I guess if you hadn't got the consistency, you you probably uh, balance it out. But uh, uh, you know, it's been a while. Uh, you, it's, it amazes me how many teams have trouble kicking extra points. Uh, that must be a pretty difficult job. That was definitely be something that you could. Uh Work your kid on that could, you know, definitely be something that the Cardinals or any team, as far as that goes, could use. If you're young and you'll learn how to do that, I promise you, you'll have a job when you get up here in school. Exactly right, and a free ride probably too. Oh, yeah. 13 to 12, the Seminoles have taken the lead over the Cardinals with so 7.41 to go. Steve Bates doing a wonderful job up top, telling you about our great sponsors, and we told you about some new ones that we've got, and we really appreciate everybody that makes uh, Cardinal football possible. Steve, uh, so far a pretty good first half. It's been a lot of fun. Then back and forth on the lead, Jack, and uh, hopefully the Cardinals can take this one back down the field and put another touchdown on the board here before half. Yeah, now that drive, the Smithville, they actually took it and they had some momentum and they just, they had a really great drive that time. Now the other scoring drive, it was just a one shot wonder. I mean, you know, not wrapping up, Moffitt and he took it to the house. But now that time they, they sustained a good long drive for Smithville and you gotta give them credit for that. Parker Bolton calls for the fair catch so it'll be first down and 10, Eric at the 31 for the Cardinals. Appreciate Red Mud Heating and Cooling, Patrick Brooks, residential commercial installation. They do service and repairs. You get Patrick call at 662-279-6569. Rhett Martin's going to split out here to the left. We've got Trey Williams over there on the right side. Kirk Sparks on first down, takes the snap, pitches it to the right side. Maybe a couple, and that's about it for the Cardinals. Good job by Will Farr there. He kind of got hyperextended there. Uh, his bag looked like he's okay, but uh, kind of pulled him back down when his feet were still in the ground there. Looked kind of scary there, but maybe he's okay. Luke Smith will check into the game as 42. Colin Middleton will check out for Belmont. So second and eight from the 33 now for Belmont. Will Farr splits out here to the far left, receiver to the right. Kirk Sparks on the second down play. I don't know, Eric, that was a busted play. It never did develop. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that was a busted play. We had a couple subs in there that's not used to running there, and I believe uh, Kurt turned and nobody was there. Second quarter, Boonville leading it over Morville by a score of 21 to nothing. So on third and 11 now at the 30 of the Cardinals. There's the snap, Sparks looking to pass. Here comes the pressure again. This one completed to 42 right at the first down marker. I believe he's gonna get it. Good catch by Will Farr there for the Cardinals. Good throw by Mr. Will Sparks. I said Will Kirk Sparks. So that'll move the chains. Belmont ready to go at the 42 yard line, first and 10. Sparks under center. Kirk takes the snap. I'm going to hand it off. Parker Bolton up to about the 48, 49 yard line. Good strong run there by Parker Bolton, but he was hit hard by number 34 for Smithville. That is Chet Moffitt. Good stick by Chet, or Parker was really going to get some good yardage there. Eight timeout. So pick up of seven on first down the time for the Cardinals, so it'll be second and three when play resumes. Maddie Jill's Boutique and Consignment at 102 Main Street in downtown Belmont. Bring you Cardinal football tonight. Go by and see them for name brand selection of men's, women, and children's clothes and shoes. They have jewelry, home decor, spirit jerseys, all at super low prices. Anna Gaddis is your owner, Maddie Jill's Boutique and Consignment in Belmont. Don't forget that's at 102 Main Street, downtown Belmont. Maddie Jill's Boutique and Consignment. Hey, Bates man, uh, good to hear from old Jamie and Greg Denson up at Denson Radio and TV in, in Belmont. And of course, not only are they sponsor the game, but they listen to us and saying, you're sounding good. Appreciate them checking in with us tonight. So on second and three, 
Daniel Sparks, former Belmont Cardinal, bringing you the game. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative. He was talking about Denson Radio and TV, proud sponsor of Cardinal Sports. Well, buy and sell them for your Whirlpool, Maytag, and LG. If you need a washer, dryer, stove, refrigerator, deep freeze, air conditioner, maybe one of those nice LG TVs, see John, Greg, or Jamie at Denson's, 454-3433. Up close to the 50-yard line. Fumble. Yeah, both people, both teams saying they have it. I believe we got back on top of it. We did. So third and three, no gain on the play. Clock down to 5:15 to go here in the second quarter. Smithville leading it 13 to 12. Jared Rodriguez will check back into the ball game for the Cardinals. Rhett Martin's going to split out here to the left. Rodriguez is going to go over there on the right side. Sparks ready to go on third down. Rodriguez comes in motion. They'll hand it off and nowhere to go. It's going to be fourth down for the Cardinals. They'll lose a yard. Yeah, big number 77 there for the Cardinal. I mean, for the Smithville Seminoles was in there in a hurry. It's Dax Payne. Parker Bolton on the carry that time for the Cardinals and Belmont looking at about a fourth and four. I would think we need to punt right here. Belmont's going to get a timeout. Well, one thing, we need a, a big boot right here to back them up. Cardinals ready to punt it away on fourth down. Bad snap back, out of hurry, Sparks. Gonna pull it down, pass on the way, incomplete. We got a flag, I think he may have went across, did he go across the line of scrimmage? He did. Incomplete flag on the play. Just um, another time there that we just shot ourselves in the foot, Steve. Eligible man downfield and the penalty declined by Smithville. It's going to be first and ten for the Smithville Seminoles. 3.52 to go. Here in the second quarter, Belmont Cardinal marching band will be coming up for you at the half. Man oil change making her game possible thanks to Daniel Mann. And man, oil change in Golden, supporting your Cardinals. They do oil changes, tire rotations, they fix flats and some minor repairs. It's man, oil change in Golden at the railroad crossing. They appreciate your business. Smithville brings a man in motion. There's the handoff off the right side and a good stop by the Cardinals. Good job, Gage Sheridan, number 68, and Parker Bolton, number 25, on the stop for the Cardinal. Dustin Moffitt on the carry that time picks up a yard. Second and nine for Smithville at the Cardinal 47. Gonna go in a hurry here. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. Wardlow looking to pass, pass on the way, incomplete, had him. Had him wide open there, right through his hand. Pass intended for 34, Chet Moffitt. Jared Rodriguez, good coverage there for the Cardinal. Appreciate insurance services and Dennis C. Danita Trotter, Deborah Farr, your hometown agents, your home life, health, auto, Medicare supplements, and much more. Give her a call, 454-0054, insurance services of Dennis. So Wardlow in a hurry. Takes the snap out of the shotgun. Here comes the pressure. Wardlow dumps it off to number 11. Caleb Leach, Leach, it'll be a couple of yards short of that first down marker. Number three, Mason Thompson, and that number five, Jared Rodriguez, what a first half he's had for the Cardinals. Down to the 41-yard line, it's going to be fourth and three now for Smithville. 2.57 to go. Smithville leading it 13 to 12. We're in the second quarter. Wardlow. With three receivers to the right, one to the left, one man in the backfield on fourth down. 
looks over to the sideline to the coaching staff. There's the snap. They'll hand it off, and it's going to be a first down for Smith 11. Caleb Leach on the carry. Smith will. Coaching staff saw something right there, Jack. Why didn't you stop at? Well, he was over on your side. Or no, no, no. He was right by you, Bates. I'm on the opposite side. That was a play that Eric should have stopped. <laughs> oh, you're standing closer to him. <laughs> I'm way behind him over here. Three receivers to the right, one to the left for Wardlow on first and ten. And he's hit. Good job by the Cardinals. Ball comes loose. They're going to call him down. Parker Bolton nailed Wardlow. Good job by Parker Bolton. He shot through there like a rocket. Loss of five for Smithville, second and 15. We got a timeout by Smithville. Good job, that was big right there for the Cardinal. Appreciate the Sparks driving in Belmont, bringing you tonight's game. They've been in business for over 35 years. You'll find a great breakfast each morning, lunch buffet daily Monday through Friday and on Sundays. The Sparks drive-in. Donnie Bell, your District 21 representative. Daniel Sparks, former Belmont Cardinal, wishing the Cardinals a great season. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent for your life, home, auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplement, and tax deferred annuities. Give him a call at 454-9624. Greg Collier, 5th District Supervisor. Gallons Pharmacy, go by and see Stanley Page, your pharmacist. See if they can save you some money on your prescriptions. Don't forget, Gatlin's Pharmacy is a Health Mart pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, 438 6605. Second and 15 at the 42 yard line for Smithville. They'll stack two to the right, two to the left. Quarterback ready to go out of the gun. 13, your quarterback, Wardlow, he's nailed, gets away. And now the Cardinals will wrap him up at the 45. Good job there by the Cardinals. Actually, you had a host of them there, led by number 20 there, Randolph for the Cardinals. I mean, Grayson Witt, I'm sorry. Parker Bolton, he was in there on that stop too. 115 to go here before half. You gotta have a stop right here. And take it to the house from right here, Jack. Third and 16. Warlow ready to go. Takes the snap. Oh, a good stop. Good stick over there by the Cardinals number 20, Grayson Witt. Great job, he read it all the way. Fourth and 17 now for Smithville. Down to 16 seconds. Now Smithville and Belmont calls the timeout. So Eric Belmont calls the timeout with 15 seconds to go. Yeah, I think that's a good timeout by Coach right here. Just make sure everybody understands, you know, what we got to do right here. It would be a huge, huge disaster for us if we give up any points with 15 seconds left in the first half. You folks that just joined us, don't forget about the Belmont High School Marching Band at halftime tonight. Appreciate Triple D's bucket service. Barney, Brandon, Dustin, Dick, they'll try their best to meet all your high reach needs. If it's trimming or removing a tree, they do that. Debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning steeples, they're all done in a professional manner. They're licensed, bunted, and insured. Give them a call at 662-279. 7,500 at Triple D's Bucket Service. Steve Bates, Josh Mitchell, our videographer for tonight's TV broadcast. Got Jack Ivey across the way on the Smithville sideline. Eric McDowell on the Cardinal sideline tonight. So with 15 seconds to go, Smithville 
on fourth and 17, shows punt. Low snap, and the punt on the way. Smith will, will down it at the goal line. Good effort there by Smithville to get down there and touch that ball and down it right there. Inside the two, I guess, ain't it, Steve? They got it. Let's see where they spotted at. They called it a touchback, Eric. Good. I'm glad they did because that is dangerous right there. You're going to have to oh, yeah. either, you, about all you can do is the quarterback sneak it and hope they don't get enough penetration to get a safety. So first and 10 for the Cardinals at the 20. Ken Nelson at Nelson Metals. They buy your cans, aluminum, steel, copper, old cars, your gold jewelry. Give Ken a call at 454-7500. Center Family Medical Clinic, Dr. Steve Center and the staff open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, 830 to 5. Cardinals. Just going to take a knee right here. And it's going to be halftime. At the end of the first half, Smithville 13, Belmont 12. Stay tuned. we got your Cardinal Marching Band coming up. Eric, your thoughts on the first half? I think we ended on a good note there for the Cardinals. We didn't let them uh, get any points there on that last drive, which would have been crucial. But uh, good effort, I believe, for the Cardinals. I believe we've got to come back out. And actually, the same thing, really one play. Uh, and we'd be leading this thing, that one that one run by Moffitt, uh, and we'd still be ahead in this football game. So I believe we come back out in the second half, we'll be ready to go. Appreciate B.J. Moody's, your sales rep at Jones Motor Company in Savannah, Tennessee. Feature the best in maintenance and repairs at Jones Motor Company. They feature Nissan, Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, and Jeep. Go by and see B.J. Moody, your sales rep at Jones Motor Company in Savannah, Tennessee. Have a large selection of new and used cars, trucks, and SUVs. MTS, formerly Mississippi 2 Supply, safety apparel, high visibility vests, T-shirts, safety glasses, earplugs. They're made and sold right here in Belmont. Custom signs and decals and banners. They've been in business over 40 years. Give them a call at 1-800-647-8168. That number again, 800-647-8168. Or better yet, go by and stop by and let them know what you need. Highway 25 South and Belmont's MTS. Running Pat Deaton at the Belmont Hotel. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County. Also bring you tonight's game. So the Belmont Cardinal marching band about ready to take the field for tonight's show. Community Spirit Bank in Belmont. Mike Montgomery and the staff for all your banking needs. J.P. Wyman, your hometown state senator. M&W Sales, James, Tammy, and Eric McDowell. I'm with 25 South and Belmont. Have a great selection of furniture, living room suits, bedroom furniture, dinettes, mattresses, and great prices. We have fencing as well. And if you need a U-Haul, give them a call at 454-9443 or 454-9410. That's M&W Sales, Tammy, and Eric, and James McDowell. I'm with 25 South and Belmont. J.P. Wyman, your hometown state senator. Also, Deaton Funeral Homes, Belmont and Red Bay, serving the area since 1945. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk. Tiffin Motorhomes, featuring Allegro. Allen Harden Heating and Cooling, your authorized York Heating and Cooling dealer for three generations. Call them at 356-8913. Mac Wyman, your Tishomingo County Coroner. John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff. I want to remind you, you can get a copy of tonight's game. It is available on DVD. Contact Jack and Denise Ivey at 454-9797. Now your Belmont Cardinal marching band ready to perform.
great job of the Belmont Cardinal marching band. We're here at the half. Smithville leading it 13 to 12. Good job by the Belmont Cardinal marching band. Moments away from the start of the third quarter. Smithville leading it 13 to 12. The Old Country Store, Highway 25 South in Belmont. Great food for breakfast or lunch at the Old Country Store, 454-7920. Inspirations for women, Tammy McDowell, Highway 25 South Belmont. All kinds of monogram items, specialty shirts, raincoats, purses, baby gifts, kids clothes, lots of gift items, 454-9443 or 454-9410. Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Wells, Kalen Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser in Belmont and Red Bay for all your insurance needs. When you become a customer of ours, you become family. We take the uncertainty out of insurance and make sure you have the protection you need, whether it's insuring your vehicle, home, motorcycle, four-wheeler, boat, RV, farm, or business. They have a policy that can be tailored for you. They're licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee at Tri-State Insurance. Southeast Surplus, Edwin Bolden, Iowa 25 South in Belmont. Don't forget they have your truck accessories, car supply headquarters. They install, they sell chemicals, chainsaws, blowers, trimmers, outdoor power equipment. Call Edwin Boat and the staff today at 454-748 for Southeast Surplus. Well Lane Record Service Tire Store and Oil Change. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Saturdays, 8 to 2. They're next to the Belmont Fire Department at Willow Lane. Don't forget the Record Service, 454-3002. Cardinals back on the field. Warming up Smithville as well as we're just moments away from the start of the third quarter. Med Express of Red Bay, formerly known as Keller Family Practice, nurse practitioner Kay Lomfers. Med Express Red Bay's certified rural health clinic, licensed by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Give them a call for your appointment, 356-8907 at Med Express of Red Bay. Hickenbottom's Family Restaurant and Dennis, owners of Shay Jeffrey, Stella Hickenbottom, invite you to come enjoy a meal with them. They're open Thursday, 4 to 9, Friday, 4 to 9, Saturday, 3 to 9, Sundays, 11 to 1.30 at Hickenbottom's. Milligan Ready Mix, Old 25 North, NIUCA. Also, Brock and Criddle Insurance for all your insurance needs. Randy or Ricky Criddle, 454 9800. The Red Bay Hospital, taking care of our friends and neighbors close to home. Don't forget at the Red Bay Hospital, they have inpatient and outpatient rehab transition care, outpatient surgery clinic therapy, lab and radiological services. At the Red Bay Hospital, 356-9532. Gavin Crow means at Overdrive Auto Sports, tire oil chains, accessories, lift kits, and more. Good luck to the Cardinals from Gavin Crow means at Overdrive Auto Sports. 662-660-4505. Hey, Steve, I got the Belmont cheerleaders right here. Are you All ready right. to get them? Go, go right ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. All right. What's your name, young lady? I'm Chloe Kelton. Carly Taylor. Kaden Wallace. Darby Dayton. Sydney Soiling. Hey, where are you going? Lincoln Smart. Lindsay Peppers. <laughs> Riley Enlow. Amy Harris, Sydney Stevens, <laughs> Caitlin Moody, Jr., Madeline Eaton, Sr., Lauren Gerald, Kaylee Dostica. And that is your Belmont Cardinal cheerleader. Doing a good job here tonight. What about that Belmont Cardinal marching band at the halftime? Good job. Well, Morville will get the ball as we start the third quarter. Belmont Pharmacy, Bill and Donna Weatherford pound more now their fourth full year business. Next Community Spirit Bank in Belmont. They can enlarge and print photo and holiday cards on that kiosk photo maker, four by six all the way up to those eight by twelves. Got that free coffee in the waiting area as well at Belmont Pharmacy. Golden Dreams Jewelry in Belmont next to the post office. All sterling silver and gold chains half price. Sterling silver cross earrings and necklaces $29.99. Paulette Embry and the staff will buy and sell them at Golden Dreams Jewelry 
in Belmont, Mississippi. Don't forget they have those Carmelian Sterling Silver jewelry as well. So the Cardinals ready to kick it off to start this third quarter. Parker Bolton will kick it off for Belmont. Parker approaches the ball, third quarter underway. Fielded at the 20, crossed the 25, 30, cuts back 35. Going to be knocked out of bounds and a late hit. Out of bounds, no flag though. Twenty-eight on the return that time for the Cardinals, Landon McMillan. Eric Medal, Jack Ivey down on the sideline. Josh Mitchell, videographer for tonight's TV broadcast. I'm Steve Bates. Cardinal football on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. So first and 10, Smithville at the 38-yard line. Smithville ready to go. Dustin Moffitt will take it out of the gun. He's going to pull it down and keep it. Moffitt upended quickly by the Cardinals. Good job. Parker Bolton got him by the ankles there before he could get started. That's what we got to do on Moffitt every time. Ball at the 38-yard line, no gain on the play. Second and 10 now for Smithville. Sunshine Mills, makers of that great dog, cat food, and treats bring you tonight's game. Looks like Wardlow is going to come back in now in quarterback. Two receivers right to the left for Wardlow on second down, takes it out of the gun. Here comes the pressure. Nobody got Bolton, Parker. Almost got to him. He didn't have nowhere to throw it. Just dumped it off, Eric, and no gain. Maybe Grayson Witt there. Another great hit by Grayson there for the Cardinals. So a third and ten now coming up for Smithville. Jarrell Smith split out here to the right. Also Octavian Miller. Two to the left for Smithville. So on third and 10, we got a flag. Legal procedure on Smithville, I believe. And that is the call, the legal procedure Smithville. That'll back them up. Third and 15 now. Kemp's hometown emporium. They ship and sell mattresses all over Mississippi, Tennessee, and Alabama. They deliver, they finance. Guaranteed low prices. Don't forget Liberty Security. Trained professional security for your business. Armed and unarmed guards. Give Mike Kemp a call at 454-9992. Mike has 38 years in the law enforcement. So third and 15 now. Eric Smithville's had a couple of passes go incomplete over the middle. It should have been caught. So... Hopefully. Yeah, we, we definitely uh, had a couple go our way right there. Here it there. comes right across the middle. They got Moffitt. He's nailed. He's nowhere to go. He gets away. And he's down the sideline. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. He's in there for the touchdown. We had him, and he got How away. How does that happen? Just some broken coverage there. After he got past the line, he was gone. So 9.46 to go in the third quarter. Smithville takes a 19 to 12 lead. The conversion coming up now for the Seminole. Snap back, Hood puts down, the kick by McNeese is up, and it is good. And Smithville takes a 20 to 12 lead. The 
be out there listening to the game tonight. Maybe you watch it on a TV replay and you'd like to get a copy of tonight's game or any of the games we do all season long. We've had a couple of folks say, hey, Jack, I might just want to get a copy of every game. Work it out with us and we'll mail it to you on Monday or you can come by our studio and pick it up. But we had a lot of folks uh, that want copies of the games and sometimes they want us to kind of dig back in the archives, Steve. But uh, we can do that as well. So if you'd like to get a copy of the uh, Belmont football game tonight, maybe you want to... Uh, uh, to be able to get it so you can watch the band. Every band's halftime performance, we record it just like the game, and we have done it uh, for many, many years. As long as we've been doing the football games, we've been taping the band's halftime performance. And, of course, Eric uh, always tries to get those cheerleaders in there as well, introduce them, and uh, so we try to give coverage to all of them. So if you just joined us here, we're, uh, of course, 9.46 to go in the third quarter. Right now, Smithville leads 20-12 to 12 over Belmont. Johnson ready to kick it off for the Smithville Seminoles. And the kick on the way, Parker Bolton going to field it at the 30. Parker 35. Parker up to about the 37, 38 yard line, drove back. They're going to spot it at the 36. Well, that that series is over. That was a... Uh... We just, we let uh, Moffitt again get away from us. All we can do is put it in the pass where it is and get us a good drive, sustained drive, going right here on first and 10 for the Cardinal. Grace Long Real Estate, Iuka. Let us help you sell your home at Grace Long Real Estate, 423-5555. Red Martin split far to the right. Anderson over here on the left side. Kirk Sparks ready to go on first down. Takes the snap. Going to hand it off. Will Farr up close to the 39-yard line. Good run by Will there. Positive yardage on first down. Going to bring up a second and seven for the Cardinals. H&R Blanc, Iuka, Red Band, Fulton, your tax professionals. Phil, Terry, and Bryant at Napa Auto Parts, Belmont, 454-9754. Mark Chumley and Scotty Payne at Redbud Supply. Appreciate all of our sponsors bringing you Cardinal football here tonight. Kirk Sparks on second and seven, going to hand it off. Off the left side, number two on the carry. That's Trey Williams. Good run by Trey. We don't talk much about the guys up front, uh, Steve, but number 76 there is Gage Sheridan. You got 68, Skyler Maxwell. You got number 62, that is Midrian Brock. And you've got number 74, Miguel Marino. That's just something that we don't call a lot, but as we know, Steve, it, you don't go nowhere without that offensive line. Exactly. So on third and three, Sparks looking to pass. Here comes the pressure, dumps it off complete. Got a first down to the 50. Going to be drugged down. That's going to be a horse collar penalty. Parker Bolton on the carry. He grabbed him. No flags. I, yeah, there's a flag. He yeah. got a flag. Okay. He was standing in front of it. I couldn't see it. He turned that helmet slap around on him. Yeah. Tell if he got. Good run by Parker Bolton right there on big third down conversion for the Cardinals. On the yardage for the penalty. First and 10, Belmont at the 31 yard line of Smithville. Eight nineteen to go here in the third quarter. Smithville 20, Belmont 12. A first and 10 at the Smithville 31 as Sparks ready to go on first down, takes the snap. Gonna hand it off. Coming off the left side, Williams on the carry. Good strong run there by Trey. Uh, I don't know if we picked up any yardage, did we, Steve? I believe no gain on the play. I thought it was no gain, but it was good hard run in there by Trey. Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff, Golden Road and Red Bay making Cardinal football possible. Also, Ronald Thorne, your state farm insurance agent for your auto home life, health insurance. Go by and see Ronald Thorne in Red Bay on Main Street. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. On second and 10, from the 31, Kirk Sparks will take the snap. Parker Bolton off the left side, down to about the 28. Parker Bolton on the 30, takes the inside of the 30. 
A good run by Parker there. Stopped by number 34, Chet Moffitt, and number 22, Will McNeese for the Seminole. So third and seven now for the Cardinals at the 28 of Smithville. Cardinals going to split three receivers to the right. Jared Rodriguez, Will Farr, Brandon Anderson. Here comes the pass from Sparks. Sparks on the way. Going to the corner of the end zone. Double coverage. Pass incomplete. Yeah, it's trying to hit Jared Rodriguez down there, but just not really anywhere for him to go. So fourth and seven now for Belmont. This is Trading Company, Highway 25 South at Iuka. Go by and check out that Landmaster Utility Vehicle. Several models to choose from, all the way up to that big LM700. It's well suited for heavy duty chores and more rugged terrain. There's the snap. Sparks, here comes the pressure. Nowhere to go for Kirk. He's going to be brought down. It's going to be Smithville ball, first and 10. Eric, he didn't have nowhere to go. The pressure came from no, all sides. They missed assignments there on the offensive line that time. He didn't have a chance to do much with it there. Official heat timeout. 6.22 to go here in the third quarter. Smithville leading at 20 to 12. Telling you about Sid's Trading Company at Iuka. Don't forget they are your authorized Branson dealer as well. It's known for their three R's, red, rugged, and reliable, the 2480 horsepower units. Don't forget the four-wheel drive diesel tractors as well. You got a bush hog mower dig, get her did at Sid's. Sid's Trading Company, I'll at 25 South at Iuka. Nice game also brought to you by Ronnie Cook, your modern woodman agent. Modern Woman offers financial services and fraternal member benefits to individuals and families serving your community. Give Ronnie Cook a call at 662-423-8477. Ronnie Cook and Modern Woodman bring you Cardinal football here this evening. Six twenty-two to go in the third quarter. Well, Eric, we got to make sure we don't let Smithville score on this series right here. They'll hand it off. He's going to be swarmed quickly by the Cardinals. Host of Cardinals on the tackle there, Parker Bolton, number 25, and you've got number 68, Skyler Maxwell, in for the stop for the Cardinals. Yeah, you're right, Steve. This is crucial, crucial drive for us on the defensive side of the ball. We've got to have a stop. Second and nine now for the Cardinals. Kind of storage, the only climate control storage in the area. Haskell Sparks, locations in Belmont and Tishomingo. Give them a call at 423-8767. So on second and nine from the 31-yard line. They'll work it out of the shotgun. Bring a man in motion. There's the snap. They'll hand it off. Off the left side. Got a flag. I'm not for sure. Yeah, that was that was a busted busted play from the start, wasn't it? Yeah. So a flag on the play. Illegal shift against Smith for the call. Second and 14 now for Smith. Jack Ivey, somewhere down on the sideline. You still with us, Ivy man? Yeah, I'm just down here watching, uh, hoping we can make a, a couple of defensive stops and get that ball back because I think y'all mentioned if uh, Smith will able to take it down and score, it's even though we still got a lot of time in the game, uh, we might be in trouble now. We need, we need to make a stop. 
Have you got an update on Tish County Alcorn Central? People uh, are asking. Hold on, I'll check for you. Okay. Wardlow's pass is complete over there on the left side. A good stop by the Cardinals. Grayson Witt with a great stop. Comes up limping those, hurt his leg. Ivy Man, last score I had was 21 to seven at half, Tish County. Looks like a cramp, but uh, he come up hobbling there. They've got him attended to out there. Belmont Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Moss, your hometown chiropractic specialist, bringing you Cardinal football, serving Belmont and the surrounding area since 1998. Dr. Moss located in downtown Belmont next to the historic Belmont Hotel. We're ready to help you in any way at Belmont Chiropractic. They're accepting new patients. Dr. Moss appreciates your business at Belmont Chiropractic. Ivy Man, we appreciate all these uh, sponsors that's been with us for a long time as well as our new sponsors tonight. No doubt about it, and I tell you what, I had um, Sue call me this afternoon. That's uh, when Mr. Crow means uh, hollered and said, hey, I want on that football. And, you know, we've picked up uh, some new ones, m &W sales. We picked up, of course, Miss Tammy there at the Inspirations for Women. And and uh, I tell you what, we also pick up to MTS, just naming some of the ones. So you might want to tell us some more of the new ones here in a minute. But formerly Mississippi 2 Supply, they're going to be on all the football, the basketball, the baseball, softball. And we're excited about all these uh, folks that are becoming a part of our broadcast. Steve, we've been doing this. You're starting your 15th year helping us. And, we bought the station back in 2001 and been doing this a little while. Of course, I've been broadcasting back as far as the 70s, but as far as on TV 12 and TV 97. So we've been blessed, and you know our sponsor list has looked mighty good for many years, and uh, it's thanks to all these people that make it possible. We picked up Man Oil Change. Who else some of the new ones there that you got in front of you there that I can't remember? One of our new sponsors, Maddie Jewels Boutique and Consignment. Jack, they're located 102 Main Street in Belmont. Forget to have those name brand selection of men's, women, and children's clothes and shoes. Also jewelry, home decor. Have those spirit jerseys, jacket, Maddie Jewels. You know, they are a consignment store, and they are only taking name brand stuff. So if you've got some stuff you want to put on consignment, they want only name brands. So when you go shopping there, they want you to find quality. See? Third and six, Smithville's going to pull it down and keep it. Wardlow off the left side, going to have the first down. Finally brought down by number 50, Lane Young, for the Cardinals. Yeah, Jack, it's good, uh, and we appreciate everything you've done back from, you know, playing in the 40s to starting broadcasting <laughs> in the 70s. But uh, wow, it's good. To, it's good to live in a community where they support their school and support their local stations, right? Oh yeah, no doubt about it. Like tonight's game, you can listen to it on TV 12. You can listen to it on 97 WRMGRadio.com. Two different locations. We're on FM 97.9. We're on AM 1430, and they can watch it on TV tonight and YouTube tomorrow. Here we go. Fumble. Fumble. Smithville falls on it right at the 44-yard line. Boy, I could have got that one just for mm. a minute. Jared Rodriguez in there causing that disruption for Seminoles. What do you say, 40s? Is that what he no, said? No, uh, late 40s <laughs> was whenever you was, uh, you won the Heisman uh, mini midget, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, Jack, that is a halftime score. Tish County, 28, Alcorn Central, 27. 28 to 7. Braves have forced four turnovers and scored three of those touchdowns. So 28 to 27 or 28 to 7? 28 to 7. So they've scored uh, three touchdowns off those four fumbles, turnovers. Good job right there, Skyler Maxwell, Gage Sheridan, and Jared Rodriguez on the stop for the Cardinal. Big third down right here, Steve. Third and eight coming up now for Smithville. Need to make this stop, guys. Wardlow looking to the sideline to get the call. Number 22, Garrett Rooker checking in for the Cardinals. Three to the left, or excuse me, three receivers to the right as Wardlow takes it out of the gun. Here comes the pressure and the pass complete. He's out of the first down. Pass complete to number 17, Jordan Wardlow. Trey Williams and Parker Bolton on the stop, but they didn't get him before he got the first down. That was big and so close. What did he get it by? He didn't even get it by a yard, did he? 
about a half the length of the football, look like. Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought. Steve, is Eric louder than you? He sounds louder on my headset, but I don't, he may not on the monitor. He just sounds a lot louder than you. Let me adjust him just a little bit here. He may not be. It may just be on my monitor down you here. You're calling me a loud mouth, Jack. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, you're louder than Steve. Louder than Steve. Oh, I wasn't going to say anything about it until you brought the 40s. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I, I thought that was a shot coming back for that. My bad. <laughs> no, no, it was Come so on, Cardinals. First and 10. Now we've got a flag. Delay a game. Just happened to join us. 20 to 12 is the score. Smithville leading the Belmont Cardinals. Smithville driving right now. And they're into Cardinal territories. What is that around the 47 yard line, Bates man? 48 yard line. 48 yard line. And we're live tonight. Don't forget you can watch the replay on Friday nights after the game, again on Monday nights as well. Wardlow under center. He'll pitch it back, 11 on the carry. That's gonna be Caleb Leach. Leach Great gets away, back. Leach to the 20. And they'll bring him down, and Smithville's going to have a first and goal. Boy, he made a great cut back there, Eric, right at you. He sure did. I, I thought he was gone, but good effort there by the Cardinals to run him down. Will didn't give up on the play. He hustled down there and got him inside the five. So 2-11 to go in the third quarter. Smithville's got it first and goal. At the eight yard line, drops Rumble. the ball, picks it up. Boy, that was close. So a second and goal now from the nine for Smithville. Stone's Jewelry family owned and operated for 41 years. Locations at Ripley and Tupelo. Their specialties, engagement rings, and making the customer happy. Your repair is done in the store. When you think of jewelry, think of the Stones. Joanne and Teresa wish the Cardinals the best of luck. You know, they sponsor football, basketball, baseball, softball, volleyball, whatever we carry, they're on there. There's the pitch to Moffitt. Moffitt down to about the one. Go in a hurry. Got to catch his off guard. Rumble. Rumble. Drop it again. Thank it's a struggle in there. But it's still fourth down. Blake Parker Bolton's got it, hasn't he? No. He had a he shot at it, didn't he? Good try by Parker. So it's fourth and go with 45 seconds. Need to stop right here, Steve. Good luck to the Cardinals tonight from Randy Sparks at Silver Dollar Sales. I believe they're going to run the clock out right here. I didn't know if there was enough time to do it or not. Should be able to lay a game. I didn't think they had. Okay, I didn't know if, how close they it was. They may call a timeout. I don't know. I believe, yeah, they're not going to run a play. I know that. Lay a game. Yeah. Yep. Now they'll call the timeout. I thought there was more time on it. I didn't think they could. Let it run completely out without having to call a timeout. So 11 seconds to go. Timeout by Smithville. Steve, don't forget the 30 guns for 30 days. Get a hold of somebody uh, raising money for the uh, weightlifting equipment in the new athletic facility that they've got here on campus at Belmont Cardinal Stadium and behind the gymnasium. Get a hold of Brandon Farr or myself. Uh, you got 30 guns, you got 30 chances to win. 30 different guns and rifles for the benefiting the Belmont High School Athletic Weight Facility. You can buy it at Old Country Store, Sparks Drive-In, or Steve's Gun and Pond. Appreciate Davis Ford, Buster Davis and the staff, Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer in Fulton, bring you tonight's game. You can call it 662-862-3711. Davis Ford, they've been in business for over 50 years. Four Story Grill Steakhouse, Lauren Brand Column on the Golden Road in Red Bay. Good food every day at reasonable prices at Four Street, 356 2226. So, Harold Lamanaker, State Farm Insurance Agent in Iuka for your home, auto, condo, renters insurance, life, health, disability, or business. Harold has been in a reliable agent for 37 years. 
Give him a call at 423-1231. There's the snap back over his head. Ball loose. Cardinals have got, got it. it. Boy, that was big, Eric. Yes, it was. Good job by Will Farr right there, be on top of what's going on out there on the field. Yeah, that could have been the end of the game right there. That right there could make the difference. Now we need to get us a sustained drive down here, open this fourth quarter up, drive the football down and take the, take it to them right here. It was a flag illegal substitution against Smithville and declined by Belmont. First and 10 Cardinals at the 14. Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector, Silver Dollar Grocery, Golden, Mantachi, and Tupelo. They're open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 6. Lowest prices around on discount groceries. Rick Sparks at Silver Dollar Grocery, 454-3642. Steve, I don't think that uh, Eric wants to keep this new microphone that he's got. I believe he's tickled with that. I am. I don't have to worry about where I'm going now. There's the snap. Will Farr off the right side. They'll wrap him up after a short game. And that's all of the third quarter. We'll move to the final quarter. It's 20 to 12, Smithville. We got new life right there, Steve. So they're gonna come to the sideline. Head football coach Jason Coker, Coach Hill, all those coaches, Coach Deaton up here in the press box, all doing a good job here tonight as we get ready for the fourth quarter. Appreciate Wildflowers, unique flowers and gifts from Belmont, missing Dustin Brandon, 305 Second Street. Don't forget now they have one of a kind jewelry, silk and live flowers, unique gifts for all occasions at Wildflowers, 454-1033. Check them out on Facebook as well. Also, Red Mud Heating and Cooling, Patrick Brooks, residential and commercial installation, service and repairs, free estimates on new installation. They're state certified, licensed, bonded, and insured. Call Patrick Brooks at 662-279-6569. Denson Radio and TV and Appliance, your Whirlpool, Maytag, and LG dealer. If you need a washer, dryer, stove, refrigerator, deep freeze, air conditioner, LG TV, they deliver absolutely free. They service what they sell at Denson's and Belmont. See John, Greg, or Jamie, give them a call at 454-3433 at Denson Radio, TV, and Appliance. Deaton Funeral Homes, Belmont at Red Bay, serving the area since 1945. Now their fourth generation of service, second and 10. Sparks looking to pass, dumps it off over here, incomplete. Intended for Trey Williams. Got a flag on the play. Yeah, probably going to be an eligible man downfield, I think, Eric. Yeah. And that is the call. Daniel Sparks, former Belmont Cardinal, bringing you tonight's game, wishing the Cardinals good luck. Also, Donnie Bell, District 21 representative. Sparks driving in Belmont, great breakfast each morning, lunch buffet daily Monday through Friday and on Sundays. They've been in business for over 35 years at the Sparks drive-in. Eric Sparks takes the snap, looking to pass, pass on the way, and complete intended for Will Farr. Yeah, just not on the same page there, Will. Was actually hanked off to the left, and Kirk threw it behind him. We got to pick up some yards right here, at least if nothing else for ball field position here. Luke Smith checking in the game for the Cardinals. Third and 15 now for Belmont at the nine yard nine line. Nine yard line. Confusion down here. 
We're gonna have to hurry, we're gonna get a delay. Kirk takes the snap, looking to pass. Here comes the pressure from the backside. Here's the pass, ball in the air, intercepted. Deflected and number three, Jabrell Smith with the interception and Smithville, he gets away. Smith headed to the corner of the end got zone. Got a flag down here. He got a flag down, I don't He's know. into the end zone for a touchdown, but we'll check out the flag. Check the flag and see, I don't know. Block in the back, I believe, but I'm not sure. Ball deflected way in the air. Smith was there waiting on it. Block in the back against against Smithville. Appreciate insurance services in Dennis, City, Anita Trotter, Deborah Farr, your hometown agents, home life, health, auto, Medicare, supplements, and much more. You can call them at 454-0054 for all your insurance needs at Insurance Services of Dennis. So after the interception, they'll step the penalty of blocking the back off at the 24-yard line. That's where Smith will have it first down and 10. Well, we'll get another break, Eric, on that one. That could have been the end of the game right there. Big break for the Cardinals. We just got to take advantage of the opportunity they give us right here. So Wardlow ready to go on first down out of the shotgun. Brings a man in motion. Moffitt on the carry off the right side. Gets the block. He'll turn the corner, and he'll be knocked out of bounds. Will Farr knocked him out of bounds over there. Round the 10, I mean 15. But they got a first down. So he's at the 12, 12 yard line, I'm sorry. So a first down and 10 now for the Seminoles. Wardlow takes it. He'll hand it off right up the middle and a good job of the Cardinal defense. Host of Cardinals there on the stop. You got Skyler Maxwell, Brock, Bolton, all in on the stop there for the Cardinal. End of the third quarter, Boonville leading it over Morville 28 to nothing. Bahia leading Holly Springs 21 to nothing. On second and eight. There's the handoff down to about the 10. Number 50, Lane Young, great job there. Stopping the Seminoles running back there from getting any extra yardage. They're at the two yard gain, I guess. Chet Moffitt, 34 on the carry that time for Smithville. Third and seven now. Now to 10 20 to go in the ball game. Smithville leading at 20 to 12. Wardlow looking to pass. They're going to wrap him up and bring him down. Yeah, look at Skyler there. Great job. Big play right there for the Cardinals by Skyler Maxwell. Steve, they'll mark that one at the 18 yard line. And like uh, Eric just said, number 18, Skyler Maxwell. Big time play there, and we're looking at what fourth Eight down. Eight yard now. loss there. Fourth down. Fourth and 15 now for Smithville. Man all change, thanks to Daniel Mann and Man all change in Golden Green tonight's game. All changes, tire rotation, the fixed flats, minor repairs. Man all change in Golden at the railroad crossing. They appreciate your business. Give them a call at 454-3557. Bates Man, September 9th, the Cardinal Cruisers presents the Belmont Car Show and motorcycle. And, man, it's going to be a big one September the 9th. Going to be a lot of great food, a lot of great entertainment. But I tell you what, a lot of cars and trucks and motorcycles as Cardinal Cruisers presents 
the Belmont Car Show again this year. And, uh, of course, that's September 9th. And just got confirmed that old Hog Wild Barbecue is going to be there on the court square. That'd so, be great. They got some uh, great barbecue, I can tell you that for sure. Ask me, did I have any barbecue Wednesday from Hogwall? They was there this afternoon, too. Well, I got some today, oh, too. Oh, did you? You weren't going to tell Hey, say, Eric, he wasn't going to tell us that. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I think everybody already knows that's a, a daily know. thing for Mr. I didn't, Ivy. I didn't, and I'm going to Corky's Barbecue Monday in Memphis. And you know what that'll be, right? Big order of nachos, right? Oh, the big, big order of barbecue nachos. He's lost 30 pounds. I don't know how. I told you. Oh, how. is that what he said? I told That's what you. What he how. told me. <laughs> we'll have to ask Denise Eating about that. Eating all the time. I can't. <laughs> Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent, bringing you tonight's game in Belmont for your you life, home, eat. auto, disability, health, IRA, Medicare supplements, and tax deferred annuities. Four five four ninety six twenty four. You can't even see me down here, can you? I'm so skinny. On fourth down, Wardlow looking to pass. Here it comes across the middle. In, almost picked off it by is, the car. It is intercepted. He hit the ground. He hit the ground. He hit the ground. No, he didn't catch that. Interception, boy. Actually, have been better off to let that go, but uh, they're calling interception, but he, the ball hit the ground. Well, we got it at the three. It's been nicer up on down the field, isn't it? What about Mr. Nathan Randolph? Was that him that made that big interception there? Is that Eric? Did, was that number eight? Yes. Well, you know, uh, interception looks better. Uh, I thought you said book. that's Nathan Randolph. I thought you said that. I'm sorry. Yep, Nathan Randolph got that one. I was complaining over here. He 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 dropped the ball actually, which what would give us 20 yards. But anyways, we got the ball. That's the main thing. At the Good end job by Nathan. End of three, Nettleton leading Mantachi 41 to nothing. Here's the handoff up the middle. A little breathing Will room. Will Farr good, on the carry. Good run by Will right there. Uh, they got away with the face mask there too. It wasn't bad, but he still he still grabbed the face mask. Ball at the seven, second and five for the Cardinals. Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, Dustin, Dick, to try the best to meet all your high-reach needs, whether trimming or removing a tree, debris removal, stump grinding, or cleaning a steeple. Give them a call at 662-279-7500. They're licensed, bonded, and insured. Second and five, Kirk Sparks takes the snap. Good hole right up the middle that time, up close to the 19-yard line. Good strong run there by Parker Bolton. Move the chains. That's a Cardinal first down. The Cardinals will come to the line of scrimmage first down and 10 at the 19. Kirk Sparks looking over that Smithville defense will take the snap. He'll hand it off. There's a good hey, hole right Langley. up the middle. Across good the 30 job. To the 31 well yard far. line. Yeah. Good job. There you go fast here, Steve. Front line of that Cardinal offense opening them Absolutely. holes. Absolutely. There's a good little move. There's good jig the by Will Farr. Yeah. Keep it in a hurry and keep them back on their heels. We're down by eight points, under eight minutes to go in the game. Steve, we got to have a touchdown and a two point conversion to tie this one up. Second and two now for Belmont. We've got a whistle. Official looking at the clock. What is he doing? I don't know where they thought we didn't start the clock when we were supposed to or not, but man, alive, they, they cost us about 30 seconds. Sure right it there. is. I don't know where it. Sparks ready to go. Quarterback keeper, and it'll be about a yard loss. Yeah, I don't know what that play was right there. If it was blown coverage or if it was design keeper, but didn't get much there. Gatlin's Pharmacy, Pharmacist Stanley Page, your Health Mart Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo, bringing you tonight's game. 
You're spending too much out of your pocket for the donut hole. Go by and see Stanley Page, your pharmacist. See if he can save you some money on your prescriptions at Gatlin's Pharmacy, 438665. Big third, third down here, Steve. Third and four for the Cardinals. Sparks ready to go. Williams in motion. They'll hand it off. Good block. 40, 45, 50 into Smithville territory. Good run by Will Farr. First and 10, Belmont at the Smithville 46 yard line now. Good formation there. I, I like that, Steve. Greg Collier, 5th District Supervisor, making progress one day at a time. Nathan Randolph split out to the far left. Kirk Sparks ready to go on first down. Brings Williams in motion. There's a snap. They'll hand it off right up the middle. Down to the 40-yard line. Moving that pile. Good job, Parker Bolton, pushing the pile. Eight timeout with 6.04 to go in the ball game. Smithville leading it 20 to 12, but the Cardinals have got it at the 40 of Smithville. This is what we talked about, a good sustained drive right here. Take some time off the clock, but don't waste enough because we get, we're down eight. We do have to score, but this is what we needed right here, Steve. Mr. Roberts and another one of the trainers working on uh, Mr. Great. Grayson Witt down here. Yeah. He's been cramping up and uh, uh, they, they got him trying to walk it off right now, but Steve, if you've had one of them cramps, nothing mm, hurts yeah. anymore, right? Hey, uh, they had to get Jack down here. He had a cramp a while ago, too. You know, <laughs> I don't know if it's because of all that uh, barbecue oh, or All what? us walking. Mike Harris, your Farm Bureau agent, Life, Home, Auto, Disability, Health, IRA, Medicare Supplements, and Tax Deferred Annuities. Call Mike Harris at 454 96 Two four Ken Nelson and Nelson Metals to buy your cans, aluminum, steel, copper, old cars, and your gold jewelry. Give Ken a call 454-7500. Center Family Medical Clinic. Dr. Steve Center, the staff, open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, 8:30 to 5. B.J. Moody, your sales rep at Jones Motor Company in Savannah, Tennessee, to feature Nissan, Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, and Jeep. Go we'll by and let B.J. show you their large selection of new and used cars, trucks, and SUVs at Jones Motor Company in Savannah, Tennessee. They're trying to get old Parker Bolton cooled off over here. He's on the bench, not in the game at this time. Sparks takes the snap, hands it off right up the middle. Down Mason to about Thompson on the run for the Cardinal. 37, Eric. Bates, it's uh, you can overheat out here in this type of humidity uh, pretty easy. And uh, like I say, they're working on Parker, trying to get him cooled off right now. So, and you know we need Parker Bolton in the game. 42 will come in for the Cardinals. That's going to be Colin Middleton as number seven. Luke Smith checks out of the game for Belmont. You know, Middleton is only a ninth grader. Well, folks, we got 527 to go in this one. Smithville leading at 20 to 12. Third and two. There's the snap off the right side. Will Farr's got the first down and more. Will. Good yeah. job by Will Farr. Good job. Got it down here to the 11 yard line. Boy, oh, great job. That play's been very good to us in this drive. It has. You're talking about a pretty good uh, one two punch when you talk about a Will Farr and a Parker Bolt and running back there along with the other guys. And uh, I'm kind of getting excited. We're, we're within striking distance here, down by eight with 5.05 to go, Steve Mann. Red Martin will split out to the left. Jared Rodriguez over here on the right side. Sparks ready to go on first down. There's the handoff off the right side. No gain there for the Cardinals, but Will coming up a little bit hobbling there. Will, Will's, Will's cramping cramp. up too. Will far down. They'll come out to check on Will. Parker Bolton will check back in the ball game as See if they're going to make Will. He'll have to check out of the game at least to play. MTS, formerly Mississippi 2 Supply, safety apparel for any tonight's game, high visibility of vests, t shirts, safety glasses, earplugs, made and sold here in Belmont. Custom signs, decals, and banners. They've been in Venice for over 40 years. Call them at 1 800 647 8168. 
Clock continues to go, 4.30 left in the game. Kirk Sparks brings Williams in motion. They'll hand it off. Parker Bolton, touchdown Cardinals! Good job by Parker Bolton, straight up the middle, untouched. Touchdown Cardinals. Gotta have two right here. 20 to 18. Bates, I guess you can hear it. I'm right here in front of the Cardinal band and, the, and we need a big two point conversion, right? This is big right here. Cardinal band sounding good down below. We got a timeout by Belmont. Good, good call by the coaching staff to talk this one over. This is a big conversion right here for Belmont. Jack Ivey, 25. Do what? Do what? 25, base 25 Parker Bolton, 26 Will Farr. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Will Farr. <sighs> Let me see how they line up. Do you go up the middle or do you string it wide? That play around that right side has been awful good. I, yep. They always been managed to block that guy in and open up for some good yardage. And of course, you know, they may be looking for that play since we've run it so much. Eric, what you think? I gotta go with that. If, if, I'm, if I'm calling this play, it's gotta be that's been the play of the night. They always say, if it's your best play and you run it right, they can't stop it. That's what you did. I think we're gonna throw it. Okay, I don't think we're gonna throw it. I think we're gonna throw it. Hey, three yards is a bunch. I'm just being different than Eric, by the way. Sparks lines up. They're going to hand it off. Ah. And couldn't Didn't, get in there. Good effort by the Cardinals. Stopped at the one yard line. Well, we got 4-14 to go in the ball game. Cardinals down by two, 20-18. I know we didn't get it, but I can't really argue with the go. I mean, that's been the best play we've had all night. Oh, no, no doubt about it. Uh, I don't know how many yards we've got on that play during this drive of the night, but it's been a bunch. It has. I want to brag on this uh, Cardinal fans coming out to support the Cardinals tonight. We're talking about a packed house. Uh, the stands are full, and there's probably enough standing around the fence and sitting around that may even fill it up at least half again. So uh, very good by the Cardinal fans coming out and supporting their team tonight. And Eric, that's nothing new, right? Nothing new to that. Cardinals always do a great job of coming out and supporting, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, volleyball, Jack, they come out and support it. Yeah, it was a great job right there. That was a long, sustained drive for the Cardinals. You know, we talked about finishing games. Here's our chance to finish it. So far, that drive there, you know, definitely is a step in the right direction. But uh, we need to get this ball back and score, win this ball game. The ball, we don't want it coming right here to number seven. You're saying that's dangerous, right? It could be dangerous. Go untie his shoes. Definitely kick it to the left side over there. Yeah, he's a great player, no, no kidding, he really is. Parker Bolton ready to go. Approaches the ball, here comes the kick. Goes right down the middle, fielded. He'll be across the 20, the 25, 30. There's a big hole up close to the 40. Good return for Smithville. Brought down by number 74 there by the Cardinals. That is Miguel Marino. Steve, it was a line, line, line drive kick, and he kind of caught it onto the run at the 15. He had a lot of momentum going his way on that return. So Smithville first and 10 at their own 40. 4.07 to go. Ronnie Pat Deaton at the Belmont Hotel bringing you the game. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County. 
M&W Sales, James, Tammy, and Eric McDowell, over 25 South in Belmont. Have a great selection of furniture, living room suits, bedroom furniture, dinette, mattresses at great prices. Give them a call 454-9443 or 454-9410 at M&W. Smithville ready to go on first down. Warlow works it out of the gun. There's the snap. There's the handoff right up the middle. 11 on the carry. We've got to get him. That's Caleb Leach. Got a face mask going to be added to it, too. So they'll step off the penalty against the Cardinals. They step off personal foul face mask penalty. Down to the 29 yard line, that's where Smithville's got it first and 10. Now we're gonna basically have to have a turnover, Steve. Community Spirit Bank Belmont, Mike Montgomery, the staff bringing you tonight's game. Your hometown state senator, J.P. Wildman, Deaton Funeral Homes, Belmont and Red Bay serving the area since 1945. Now their fourth generation of service. Two receivers to the left, one to the right for Wardlow. He'll take the snap. Moffitt off the left side, big hole for Moffitt, 20. Lays his head down, ball comes loose, but he gets out of bounds. Good stop, Grayson Witt. He's cramping up again. Good stop, way to hang in there. He's trying to get up and stay in the game. Smithville on first down and 10 at the 19. There's a snap to Wardlow. Moffitt again off the right side. Moffitt trying to turn the corner. Good, good open field right tackle. There, Trey Williams. Yeah. Really good stop, Trey Williams right there. You like that, didn't you? Nice, got him at the legs, took him down. That's what you gotta do, Moffitt. If he gets to that corner, he's gone. So a second down and 12 now for Smith will clock down to 327. Smith will leading at 20 to 18. Two timeouts left, Steve. I believe that's right. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk, Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro, Allen Harden Heating and Cooling, your factory authorized York Heating and Cooling dealer for three generations. 3568913. Second and 12, Smith will ready to go. Two to the left. One to the right, Wardlow will hand it off again. Good job. The third down now for Smithville. That clock's our worst enemy right now. Hunter Barkstrom on the tackle there for the Cardinals. So third and 12 for Smithville at the Cardinal 20. McWaman, your Tishomingo County corner, making her game possible. John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County sheriff, thanks you for your support and confidence. Get you and get a copy of tonight's game. It is available on DVD. You can contact Jack or Denise Ivey, 454-9797. So on third and 12, fans wanting to delay a game, and now they're going to call a timeout. He couldn't have had much left, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I thought he got delay a game at 207, but I'm I'm not, you know, not sure. So 209 left. It's 20 to 18 Smithville, third and 12 when play resumes at 20. What about that Belmont Cardinal band? Doing a great job. Doing awesome. Don't forget the Belmont High School marching band is on every DVD, so if you're Watching the replay of the game, always stay tuned at halftime, home, road, whatever the occasion. Guess what? They're going to be on the same DVD right at halftime. We even have a mic down on the field to pick up the audio just a little bit better, but it sounds great. And I'll tell you what, they do a wonderful job 
under the direction of uh, Mr. Rick Merle, and I think they're going to play just a little bit more, Steve. Inspirations for women. Tammy McDowell bringing you tonight's game. Highway 25 South Belmont. All kinds of monogram items, specialty shirts, raincoats, purses, baby gifts, kids' clothes. Lots of gift items. 454 or 454-9410. Smithful ready to go on third and 12. Wardlow takes it, options out to Moffitt. Moffitt blocking the back over there. They'll wrap him up. Good job, Brock, right there. Trey Williams, Jared Rodriguez, all in on the stop for the Cardinal. So it's a fourth down for Smithful coming up. 158 to go. People getting too hot in the stands, maybe too. Yes, I saw that. Tri-State Insurance, Kim Wells, Kalem Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, locations in Belmont and Red Bay, 454-3304, and Red Bay, 356-4804. When you become a customer of ours, you become family at Tri-State Insurance. See them for your vehicle, home, motorcycle, four-wheeler, boat, RV, farmer business. They're licensed in Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee at Tri-State Insurance. Southeast Surplus, Mr. Evan Bolden, I would 25 South and Belmont, your Steel Power Products Headquarters. Huge selection of Steel Power 2s, the lowest price around. Give them a call at 454-7484. Big time ain't the word for this right here, Steve. Well, you know the pass across the middle. They've been trying it all night. They're going to try a field goal. They're going to do a field goal. Fake. They going for a fake. 22, McNeese going to try to kick it. 37-yarder on the way, blocked. That's, that is returnable. Got a wall over here on the left side. There he is. Up to about the 27-yard line. He had a wall over here, Eric, on the we right side. We got a side. chance. We got a chance. Cardinals have got a minute 44. Good job right there, number eight, Nathan Randolph, being recognizing that he could field that ball, getting some, what, 20-something yards right there. Fans getting into it down here, Steve. Cardinals first and 10 at the 29-yard line, a minute 44 to go. Kirk Sparks will go under center. Anderson, Red Martin split out here to the right. Here comes the pressure. Sparks gets away. Here comes the pass downfield. And it's incomplete. Has Josh got a headset on tonight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Josh, tell that guy beside you to find him a seat. I don't like him. man downfield against the Cardinals. First and 15, Eric. Kirk Sparks will go under center. There's the snap, looking to pass. And Kirk gonna oh. go down. They well, the big man got him number 65. J.D. Uh, Strevel, he's 6'1 and 335 pounds. And Eric showed a little quickness there to be able to get uh, Sparks down for the big, he big He did, and Kirk, Kirk's hurt. We're down to a minute eight. Jack, what were we at, about the 12? I'll give you an exact. Uh, 
he's down. We're going to have to get a timeout stop. An official, it's, we're exactly on the 11-yard line. Red Martin up, that's good. And Kirk Sparks, they're still checking on Kirk, Eric. Yeah, just thoughts and prayers go out to him and his family. I don't know, he's been, he's too hot all night. I hope that's all it is, but uh, he's really having a hard time catching his breath. I know that's still scary, uh, no matter what. Pause the action with one minute to go in the ball game. Med Express of Red Bank bringing you tonight's game. Nurse practitioner Kayla Humphreys in the office Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, to take care of all your medical needs at Med Express of Red Bank. They accept all major insurances. And we'll call it 356-8907. Still attending to Kirk Sparks for the Cardinals. Kirk up on his feet. I believe I'd have somebody warming up on the sideline. He, I believe he's exhausted and, uh, you know, it's too hot. And uh, it's been a humid night, but it's not really that hot down here right now. Of course, I know we're not playing in the game, but it's it's cooled off considerably from you know, game time uh, that started tonight. So let's pray that uh, Kirk is going to be okay. And we only got a minute to get down the field and get a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Now we're only down two, Jack. Uh, if you had some eligibility left, you might kick that long field goal. But we're still a long ways away from that. See, I'm wanting us to get a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm thinking. Clock starts. Second down. Rooker in the ball game here. Rooker under center takes the snap. Rooker looking to pass, dumps it off, incomplete. Right through the hands of Parker Bolton on that one. Actually, nice job, Rooker, coming in right there. Hit him right between the numbers. Got hit uh, almost early, didn't he? Yep. 47 seconds. Stop clocks on the uh, incomplete pass. Stop. So third down. This Garrett Rooker is a, a very good athlete. Only a ninth grader. You put him on the basketball floor, football, baseball. He's good at all of it. And uh, Olivia would say he's not quite as good as her yet, but uh, he's a good <laughs> one. So third down and long for the Cardinals. Rooker takes the snap. And Fumble and Smithville's got it. Smithville's got it. That's going to be your ball game. That'll be at the 11 yard line. Well, Smithville with 40 seconds will take over possession of the football. I couldn't see it. What happened? I seen the fumble, but I couldn't see what happened. No, I couldn't either. Just it was, drop it, or it was it was on a lot of traffic between me and it, and I couldn't I couldn't see it either. Gavin Crow means at Overdrive Auto Sports, tire, oil change, accessory, lift kits, and more. Good luck to the Cardinals from Gavin Crow means, 662 660 4505. 
Rock and Criddle Insurance for all your insurance needs, 454-9800. Give Randy or Ricky a call. Milligan Ready Mix, O25 North and Iuka. Hickenbottom's Family Restaurant, Lachey, Jeffrey, and Stella Hickenbottom. Open Thursday and Friday, 4 to 9. Saturday, 3 to 9. On Sunday from 11 to 1.30 at Hickenbottom's. Well, Smithville's just going to snap the ball and put a knee down. Clock down to 28 seconds. Mage man, remind everybody that don't forget on Friday nights after the game, as soon as you get back with the video, we'll put it on, leave it on all night till about Saturday morning, about 10. And, and then we replay it again on Monday nights all night long with the exception of between 9 and 10 at night. We'll have a new sports show there. But uh, it'll also be on YouTube by the time you get up on Saturday morning. So uh, appreciate everybody's support for Cardinal Sports here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Steve? Final score tonight from Errol Alexander Field, the Smithville Seminoles 20 and the Belmont Cardinals 18. Eric, your final thoughts on tonight's ball game? Well, kind of uh, bad memories there, basically the last three years there, but the, Farnel, the Cardinals fought hard like we talked about. Will Farr, Parker Bolton, they came up big for the Cardinals tonight. Uh, I know it's it's hard here for a loss right off the bat, but you just got to take it, learn from it, and go go from there. Tonight we had a lot of people running out of gas, so uh, that's the, my biggest thought. So we got a great effort from the Cardinals, and appreciate all our sponsors. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, uh, Steve. And uh, we just have to look forward to next Friday night against South Pontotoc. Ivy, man, your final thoughts tonight? Well, uh, tough loss. You know, it's kind of reminiscent of last year. You know, we, we played a really good game, but came up a little bit short, so... I know the guys are going to go back to the drawing tables, and uh, hopefully we'll come out of here uh, healthy uh, after they look at everybody. But mainly I think uh, the, the heat and some cramps was a factor, but I'm sure that was a factor on both teams. So uh, tough loss for the Cardinals. Uh, not a division game, but uh, you, you played up a very, uh, up a very uh, good team in Smithville. And, of course, you know, they got some good athletes out there, and, and they performed tonight. Well, appreciate all of our sponsors who brought you Cardinal football tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Don't forget now the Cardinals at home next week as we welcome South Pontotoc. Our first three games are at home this year. So South Pontotoc will come to town next Friday night. Come on out and support your Belmont Cardinals. I'm Steve Bates for Jack Ivey, Eric McDowell, Josh Mitchell. Until next time for Belmont Cardinal football, so long, everybody. Good night.